Naruto. At the beginning, he got the fighting power to create Madara. Chapter 1. Konoha, outside the gate. Click. Clatter. The sound of slow footsteps, one step at a time, came from not far away. Step by step, he approached the gate of Konoha. He saw a tall figure wearing red armor, black ninja boots, black gloves, and long hair that reached his waist. If the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju, was here, he would definitely recognize this figure as his former best friend. However, Hashirama Senju was dead, so at this moment, no one could recognize this figure in red armor. Who is it? Clatter. The tall figure was still slowly walking towards the gate of Konoha from a distance, step by step. During this time, the gentle breeze kept blowing the long black hair, and the long hair could not help but sway in the wind. It seemed to foreshadow that everything that was going to happen next would break all the peace of the past few decades. Wait, who are you? You're not from Konoha, right? Please register your personal information. When the tall figure in red armor arrived at the gate of Konoha. The two great gate gods of Konoha, Gang Zitai and Shen Yu Zhu Yun. Regarding this, ha, the tall figure in red armor lowered his head slightly, looking a little gloomy. After hearing their words, he sneered contemptuously. Then, under the somewhat inexplicable gazes of Gang Ziti and Shen Yu Chuyun, the other party raised his head slightly, and instantly revealed a pair of three Magatama scarlet pupils. The moment they came into contact with that pair of scarlet eyes, Gang Ziti and Shen Yu Chuyun were immediately stunned, and they were both stunned on the spot. Clatter. The figure in red armor ignored the two gate gods and continued to walk towards Konoha and the village step by step without any hurry. After he completely walked into Konoha, the two people behind him woke up as if they had just woken up from a dream. Then, um, how do we get out? Gang Ziti and Shen Yu Chuyun looked at each other in confusion. They both looked confused. Obviously, they had completely forgotten what had just happened. So, they didn't know. There are already unregistered people who have entered Konoha. At this moment, it seems to be noon, time for people to have lunch. It can be seen that in Konoha, there are more or less quite a few diners in the barbecue restaurants and other restaurants. Outside the store, there are also people coming and going between civilians and ninjas. It symbolizes the prosperity of Konoha. However, in this prosperous scene, there is a lonely figure, walking slowly step by step on the wide road. During this time, his pair of deep black pupils consciously or unconsciously observed the coming and going of people around him, as well as the prosperity of the entire Konoha. He is the man in red armor who just came in from the outside of the Konoha gate. At this moment, he has completely arrived in Konoha village. Then, looking at the scenes around him. Ah! What a familiar yet strange place. Chen Yibin looked at the scene that appeared in his memory and now appeared in front of him. He couldn't help but sigh with a smile. Chen Yibin was originally from another world. Born in an orphanage, he relied on the help of caring people in the society. He studied till high school. But he was not good at studying, so he dropped out of school and went out to work in the society. But, how could he find a good job without finishing high school? In the few years after Chen Yibin came to that world, he gloriously became a delivery man serving the people. And the reason why he appeared in this world at this moment and even became a powerful being was because of this. It was because he was delivering food and was not paying attention to the passing vehicles while looking at his phone, which led to a serious car accident. Chen Yibin died in the car accident, but was accidentally tied to an incredible and mysterious thing called the, achievement sign-in system. Before the half-dead Chen Yibin could figure out what was going on. The sign-in system directly performed a free first sign-in for him. However, he signed in unexpectedly, founder of Konoha Uchiha Madara Combat Power Template. Since Chen Yibin was dying at the time and couldn't answer anything, the system directly applied the combat power template of founder of Konoha Uchiha Madara to him. Even Chen Yibin's appearance was directly transformed into that of Uchiha Madara. Finally, the dead Chen Yibin was brought from his original world to this ninja world. This is why Chen Yibin would stand on the bustling streets of Konoha, watching the people coming and going. During this period, Chen Yibin actually didn't care who he turned into. This power surprised Chen Yibin after he woke up and understood everything. 
Chen Yibin spent a few days initially receiving so many extra memories and combat experiences in his mind, and after he had become familiar with his current body. He also figured out what the so-called achievement sign-in system was. It allows Chen Yibin to sign in once a day. The things signed in could be anything. There is no level limit. It might allow Chen Yibin to ascend to the sky in one step, or it might be possible to sign in for something like a pack of tissues. In the past few days, Chen Yibin has signed in for something that makes people's eyes twitch, such as, a pack of tissues. However, in addition to the basic daily sign in, achieve some kind of achievement. For example, defeat, kill or subdue some strong people. These can also allow Chen Yibin to increase the number of additional sign-in opportunities. So, he came to Konoha. Start. Want to do something, make trouble. Moreover, Konoha is just the beginning. Chen Yibin, who has now become Uchiha Madara and possesses all the power of Uchiha Madara in the Valley of the End. In his heart, a man's greed for power is growing uncontrollably. Chen Yibin, who looked exactly like Uchiha Madara, even wore the same red armor from the anime. At this moment, he was walking slowly on the busy streets of Konoha among the people coming and going. Many Konoha civilians were attracted by Chen Yibin's old-fashioned armor from the Warring States period. Moreover, Uchiha Madara's appearance was also eye-catching enough. This made Chen Yibin attract the attention of many passers-by along the way. The rate of turning back was full. In response, Chen Yibin, with his waist-length hair swaying in the breeze, ignored the gazes of all passers-by. Just. It's great that Tsunade, one of the three ninjas, has now become the fifth Hokage of Konoha. It is said that Lady Tsunade is the granddaughter of the first Hokage, who is known as the god of ninja. Ske. Although the death of the Sandame is sad, the timely succession of the new Hokage is truly a blessing in disguise. But I heard that the fifth Hokage was able to come back thanks to that demon fox. I heard that it was Uzumaki Naruto and Jiraiya who invited Tsunade back to the village to succeed the fifth Hokage. I saw that among the people coming and going, the civilians or some ordinary ninjas all looked happy and a little sentimental. Chen Yibin, listening to them, also knew. It turned out that this was the time when the third generation old man was killed by Orochimaru in the original play, and then Tsunade Senju was brought back to the village by the protagonists, Naruto, and, Jiraiya, to become the fifth generation Hokage. Hasirama. At this time, because he heard the name of a person from the mouths of the civilians and ordinary ninjas passing by. Chen Yibin subconsciously couldn't help but say the man's name. Senju Hashirama. Chen Yibin's eyes, eternal Mangekio Sharingan, almost couldn't help but emerge, and a terrifying chakra burst out. It seems that during the period of becoming Uchiha Madara's appearance and gaining all his combat power, Uchiha Madara's memory. It also indirectly had a little impact on Chen Yibin. When he heard the man's name, he was so eager to fight that he could hardly control himself. However, Chen Yibin soon realized that he was Chen Yibin, not Uchiha Madara. So, his mood gradually calmed down. I am Ban, not Madara. Single quote. Also at this time. Um. Chen Yibin, with a pair of deep black pupils, saw a scene that interested him. Several familiar figures from the original drama appeared in Chen Yibin's sight at this moment. Based on the images of them in the anime that Chen Yibin had seen before, he roughly speculated and judged. At this moment, the people who appeared in Chen Yibin's sight should be. Akamichi Choza, Nara Shikaku, Yamanaka Inoichi, Hitaki Kakashi, Mike Guy, Yuhi Kuranai, Mitarashi Anko, Yuan Fei Asuma and many other Konoha's Janin. Especially Hitaki Kakashi. The most classic elite Janin in the original drama. The moment he saw them. Chen Yibin almost recognized them. They are almost exactly the same as in the original drama. It's just that they changed from anime to real people and appeared in front of Chen Yibin. They didn't seem to see Chen Yibin on the road, but went into a barbecue restaurant in front together. Well, it should be that the new Hokage of Konoha has just succeeded to the throne, and these Janin who know each other and have a good relationship are planning to get together. But unexpectedly, Kakashi is also there. Interesting. Seeing the men and women entering a barbecue restaurant in front, Chen Yibin smiled and walked past. Then, he turned around and walked towards the barbecue restaurant. During. Hey, do you feel that person looks a little familiar? 
There is indeed an inexplicable sense of familiarity, especially the style of armor he is wearing, as if I have seen it somewhere before. That guy is really good looking, but his hair is too long, which makes him look gloomy. Is he someone who is difficult to approach? He doesn't look like a member of our Konoha. Is he a ninja? The civilians on the roadside and some ordinary ninjas passing by looked at Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor and had long hair, and then gradually walked away. They couldn't help but communicate with each other. On the other side. Well, I can finally relax. Because of that Orochimaru, we Jonan have been very busy during this period. Now that Lady Tsunade has returned and succeeded to the throne of the 5th Hokage, the village is finally functioning normally again. In a corner of the barbecue restaurant, Akamichi Choza, Nara Shikaku, Yamanaka Inoichi, Yuhi Kuranai, Kakashi and others are already sitting together. During this time, Midarashi Anko, after sitting down, spoke first. During this time, hearing the name of Orochimaru, Yuan Fei Asuma couldn't help but clench his fist slightly. After all, if it weren't for the cold-hearted Orochimaru, one of the legendary three ninjas, the third-generation old man Yuan Fei Hiruzen would not have passed away suddenly. And the third-generation old man is of course Yuan Fei Asuma's father. On the side, Kakashi, Yuhi Kuranai, Nara Shikaku and others can also I understand Asuma's feelings. They also expressed regret for the death of the third Hokage, but because of a series of incidents following Orochimaru's invasion, they didn't have much time to feel sad. Today, because Tsunade-sama finally succeeded as the fifth Hokage, the originally tense atmosphere in the village relaxed a little. The group of Jonan also had some free time to get together and have a good meal. Afterwards, the waiter at the barbecue restaurant quickly brought over a lot of grilled meat that Kakashi and the others had ordered. Well, let's not talk about other things for now, let's grill the meat. Midarashi Anko, seeing the meat coming up, couldn't help but raise her chopsticks and said with a smile. On the other side, Akamichi Choza was grilling even faster. You are really faster than me. Midarashi Anko glanced at Akamichi Choza, and then hurriedly put the meat on the stove. With Midarashi Anko's lively personality, the atmosphere was relaxed and lively for a while. On the side, the mature and charming Yuhi Kuranai also looked at her carefree girlfriend Anko, and couldn't help shaking her head and laughing. The meat looks good, mind. One more person. Suddenly, among the group of Konoha Jonan in the corner, an abrupt voice suddenly arose. Hem. Hearing the sudden voice, Kakashi, Asuma, Might Guy, Yuhi Kuranai, Nara Shikaku, Midarashi Anko and other Konoha senior ninjas. They all turned around in confusion and looked behind them where the voice came from. The next second, they saw a man wearing a black suit, a red armor in the style of the Warring States period, black gloves, and a striking head of long hair that reached his waist. He stood behind them without knowing when. When. During this time, Kakashi, Asuma, Might Guy, Kurenai Yuhi and other Jonin were all shocked. The other party had approached so close without any of them noticing. How could they not feel anything? If the other party was an enemy and wanted to attack any of them. Wasn't it just now? Thinking of this, Kakashi and the others could not help but feel a sense of doubt in their hearts. At the same time, they looked at the man in front of them curiously. And the person who suddenly appeared behind Kakashi, Yuhi Kuranai and the others was naturally Chen Yibin, who had obtained all the power to establish Konoha Uchiha Madara. Then, do you mind adding me in? Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor and had long flowing hair, looked at Kakashi, Might Guy, Asuma, Kuranai and others at the table in front of him, and asked again with a faint smile on his face. During this time, it must be said. Madara-sama's appearance is really top-notch when he smiles. Even Kuranai couldn't help but secretly admire Chen Yibin's appearance. Hey, who are you? We don't want strangers to come and eat and drink for free. At this time, Yutarashi Anko held her chin with one hand and looked at Chen Yibin, who was standing beside her in red armor. And, say, I look at you, and I feel a sense of familiarity, as if I have seen you somewhere before. Suddenly, Yukmashi Hongdu looked at Chen Yibin and felt that he looked more and more familiar. I have the same feeling. On the side, Yuhi Kuranai also echoed. Similarly, Asuma, Nara Shikaku, Akamichi Choza, Yamanaka Inoichi and other Konoha Jonans all felt that Chen Yibin looked strangely familiar. 
It was as if they had seen him somewhere before. It was indeed that Chen Yibin's appearance, looks, and clothes were exactly the same as Uchiha Madara, which made them feel very familiar. But these Jonan couldn't remember where they had seen him for a moment. Really. It seems that there is a special fate between us, right? Chen Yibin said with a faint smile again. In his heart, he was thinking. Would it be enough to knock down all these Konoha Jonan to get an extra chance to sign in? Single quote. The strong strength gave Chen Yibin great confidence. It also made him look like a man who played with the world, ignored all worldly rules, and looked down on everyone. Oh, I remember now. At this moment, Yukmashi Hongdu suddenly shouted. Then, pointing at Chen Yibin. The red armor you are wearing is a replica of the old style armor from the Warring States period, right? No wonder he looks so familiar. Yutamashi Anko felt that she had finally found the part of Chen Yibin that made her feel familiar. But, Kakashi was watching Chen Yibin. Kakashi felt that Chen Yibin looked familiar not only because of his old-fashioned armor. It seems to be true. I think the huge stone statues of the first Hokage and the Uchiha predecessor, Uchiha Madara, at the Valley of the End, are wearing this kind of armor, right? After hearing what Mitarashi Anko said, Yuhikurunai added. These are the words. Kakashi suddenly thought of something, and then he looked at Chen Yibin in front of him again, and began to compare him with the, stone statue, of the man he had seen in his memory. However, the more he compared, the more doubtful Kakashi became. His right eye began to widen a little. No way. Impossible. Kakashi began to doubt himself. I see, you seem to like the old style armor from the Warring States period. Well, if you don't mind, let's sit together. Shiri Hong felt that it would not look good to let Chen Yibin stand in the aisle all the time. So, after saying a few words, she made room for Chen Yibin without thinking too much. Cough cough. My friend, please sit next to me. Seeing Shiri Hong giving up her seat to Chen Yibin, Asma suddenly gave up a seat as well. He really didn't want Chen Yibin to sit next to Shiri Hong. Okay, thank you. Chen Yibin, who had been smiling all the time, nodded slightly. Then, he wanted to sit down. But suddenly, wait a minute. Hitaki Kakashi, with a look of surprise, suspicion, and even disbelief, suddenly stood up and stared at Chen Yibin. Chen Yibin's movements also paused slightly. Who are you? Kakashi, at this moment, had a vigilant look on his face. He was even ready to make a seal. Kakashi, at this moment, was like he was facing a great enemy. As a result, the atmosphere at the scene suddenly became inexplicably tense. Hey, Kakashi, although I hate to have one more person to share our barbecue, you don't have to be so nervous, right? Mitarashi Anko felt a little funny when she saw the very nervous Kakashi. But she didn't know how surprised, suspicious and unbelievable Kakashi was at that moment. On the side, Asuma, Shikaku, Yamanaka, Choza and other Konoha Jonan were also a little confused when they saw the suddenly nervous Kakashi. Hey, Kakashi, what's wrong with you? Mike Guy was a little confused about what Kakashi, his best friend, meant at the moment. But Mike Guy, who also knew Kakashi well, thought that there must be a reason for Kakashi's defensive behavior at this time. In response, your name is Kakashi, right? Ah. You, what do you see in me? Chen Yibin smiled with interest, and his black pupils looked at Hitaki Kakashi at this moment. You, you really are. Impossible. That person can't be alive, and even less can he be as young as you. Hitaki Kakashi looked at Chen Yibin in shock and disbelief. Kuranai. Yuhi, Asuma, Might Guy, Shikaku Nara and others watched as Kakashi became more and more nervous, even saying something inexplicable. At this moment, many Jonan were a little confused about what happened to Kakashi. Kakashi. Nara Shikaku thought Kakashi wouldn't suddenly act this strange. So, Nara Shikaku also re-examined Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor and whose sitting action was interrupted. Then, etc. You. Dot you. Suddenly, it was like a thunderclap in Nara Shikaku's mind. He became like Kakashi at this moment, with a shocked and unbelievable expression. He looked at Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor and had long and smooth hair. Shikaku, why are you like this too? Akamichi Choza looked at Shikaku with confused eyes, who also had the same surprised expression as Kakashi. Meanwhile, 
Yuhi Kuranai, Mitarashi Anko, Asuma, Yamanaka, and Might Guy also looked puzzled. Intel. Ha. Chen Yibin, who was interrupted by Kakashi from sitting down, laughed for no apparent reason. And. Did you recognize it? You too. A pair of black pupils looked at Hitaki Kakashi and Nara Shikaku at this moment. Everyone. Hitaki Kakashi looked at the Jonin around him, as if to remind them to get ready for battle immediately, at least. You have to be defensive. The person in front of you might be the legendary. Kakashi. What happened between you and Lu Ju? Why are you so wary of this strange man? Might Guy scratched his head. But I believe in Kakashi. So, give up your identity. Friend. The next second, Might Guy suddenly smiled, staring at Chen Yibin with shining teeth. As Kakashi's opponent for so many years, Might Guy knows Kakashi well enough. Therefore, Might Guy chooses to trust Kakashi unconditionally. So, Might Guy became alert to Chen Yibin at this moment. On the side, Yuan Fei, Asuma, Yuhi Kuranai, Shikaku, Yamanaka, Choza and other senior ninjas also began to stare at Chen Yibin. Only. Hey, what are you guys doing? Mitarashi Red Bean, I still feel that these companions around me are a bit weird. Question mark. Oh, give up your identity. I didn't expect that in just 70 or 80 years, Konoha would completely forget the people who existed in the Warring States period. Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor and had lush hair, sneered. Well, but it doesn't matter. Want to know my name? Sure. In this world, I allow you to call me. Chen Yibin said this to Kakashi, Nara Shikaku, Might Guy and others with a slightly cold smile on his face. At this time, Chen Yibin had not finished speaking. You are indeed. Uchiha Madara. Before Chen Yibin finished speaking, Kakashi actually answered Chen Yibin like this. Chen Yibin. Hearing this, Mitarashi Anko, who originally felt that Kakashi and the others were a little bit inexplicable, was instantly shocked. The chopsticks in her hand fell on the table. Yuhi Kuranai, Asuma, Akamichi Choza, Might Guy. All of them were suddenly filled with astonishment and disbelief, and for a moment they could not help but stand there in a daze. Even though they had already guessed something about Nara Shikaku, at this moment, after hearing Chen Yibin's words that seemed to half admit his identity, the two of them still looked at Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor, with doubts in their eyes. You, Uchiha, Madara. You, you are. Yuhi Kuranai, at this moment, really couldn't believe the name that Kakashi said on her behalf. But, at this moment, this attitude, through the name, Uchiha Madara, Shihi Hong finally discovered that. Chen Yibin in front of him was extremely similar to one of the two huge stone statues that had always existed in the Valley of the End. I hadn't thought of it just now. But at this time, in Shirahong's eyes, Chen Yibin really looked very similar to a stone statue in the Valley of the End. Especially the Warring State's armor and the long hair. It was as if the stone statue had come alive. At this moment, Shirahong was thinking of the stone statue. It is the legendary strong man Uchiha Madara. Chen Yibin. During this time, of course, Yuhi Kuranai was not the only one who thought of this. In addition to Kakashi and Nara Shikaku who realized it from the beginning, everyone else, including Asuma, Might Guy, Mitarashi Anko, Yamanaka Inoichi, and others, also thought of this. Then, impossible. The legendary ninja, Uchiha Madara, died in a battle with the first Hokage, Senju Hashirama, many years ago. Yuan. Fei Asuma suddenly stood up and denied Chen Yibin's identity. Might Guy, Yuhi Kuranai, and Mitarashi Anko also agreed with this. How can a dead person be resurrected? Hasi. Rama. Hearing that person's name again, Chen Yibin, who had received almost all of Uchiha Madara's memories, suddenly shuddered. At this moment, a terrible fighting spirit and murderous intent could not be controlled from the depths of his memory. Chen Yibin, who possessed Uchiha Madara's all memories, could not control his murderous intent and fighting spirit the moment he heard the name of Senju Hashirama. Not good. Retreat. Kakashi saw Chen Yibin's situation in time and immediately waved his hand and shouted to the others around him. The people on the side were all at the level of Jonin, and their reaction ability was at least qualified. Immediately, no matter what was about to happen, they listened to the team's instructions. Retreat. Don't be in front of me. Mention that person's name. Boom. The powerful chakra exploded. 
In an instant, even though Kakashi and the others had retreated in advance, they were still hit by the explosive force of the powerful chakra and smashed through the wall one by one. Ah! Uh -uh. Everyone was blown out of the barbecue restaurant and landed on the street outside. Good. What a powerful chakra. This level of chakra is simply unprecedented. After Nara Shikaku stabilized his body and stood on the street with others, he couldn't help but exclaimed in surprise. On the side, Kakashi, Might Guy, Yuan Fei, Asuma and others were also shocked and extremely solemn. During this period, this terrifying amount of chakra. Hey, Kakashi, he can't really be. Might Guy was very shocked at this time. In response, Kakashi was holding a kanai, staring at the barbecue restaurant that had been shaken to pieces by the powerful chakra with an extremely serious expression. At this time, countless diners in the barbecue restaurant ran out of the store in panic. In the end, the boss and the waiter all ran away. I guess those who didn't know thought it was an earthquake. When most of the people in the barbecue restaurant ran away. Hasirama. I already. They have reached the other side. Chen Yibin was almost immersed in Uchiha Madara's memory at this time. Chakra and terrifying pupil power were bursting out. Roar. The next moment, there was a roar. A blue statue of Suzano, stage 3, several dozen meters tall, broke through the roof of the barbecue restaurant. In the end, it even stepped on the entire barbecue restaurant. Kakashi looked thoughtfully at the kanai in his hand. His kanai faced the blue energy giant that was tens of meters tall in front of him. It seems a bit mysterious. Kakashi smiled bitterly in his heart. At the same time, he was also wondering. The legendary strong man, Uchiha Madara reappeared in the world. How? How can it be? Seeing the dozens of meters tall blue, Suzano, suddenly appearing in front of them, Yuhi Kuranai, Mitarashi Anko, Nara Shikaku and other senior ninjas were stunned. At this moment, the streets were in chaos. Around, the villagers of Konoha were running around in panic. They were indeed frightened by the dozens of meters tall blue, Suzano third stage, that suddenly appeared and stepped on the barbecue restaurant, and they ran away in all directions. In response, bang, bang, the tens meter tall Suzano took two steps forward with heavy footsteps. Then, Chen Yibin, wearing red armor, was at the head of Suzano. He looked coldly at Kakashi, Might Guy, Yuan Fei, Asuma and other senior ninjas at his feet. His eyes, Nara Shikaku, Chen Yibin pointing at the huge Suzano head in the sky. Sharingan, the other Jonan followed Nara Shikaku's pointing and looked at Chen Yibin. They immediately saw a pair of eyes glowing scarlet light. Mangekio Sharingan. And this kaleidoscope of patterns. He is indeed the legendary one. Hitaki Kakashi frowned and looked at Chen Yibin's eyes in the head of Suzano in the sky, and then spoke with a heavy heart. At the same time, what happened? In the Hokage building, Tsunade Senju was just processing documents. Suddenly, she heard a sound similar to an explosion in a small earthquake. She stood up and looked out the window of the Hokage building with some confusion. The next second, Nani. Looking at Tsunade outside the window, she was surprised at this moment. That, that is. Grandpa and second grandpa said that Suzano. Can you care? Why, why did he suddenly appear in the village? Tsunade. Sama asked in doubt. At this moment, several Anbu ninjas instantly arrived at the Hokage building. Hokage-sama, the enemy has invaded Konoha. Several Anbu ninjas knelt on one knee and reported to Tsunade-sama at the desk. However, Tsunade could see the situation outside by herself at this moment. Who is the other party? Tsunade-g asked sharply, turning back to look at several Anbu ninjas. I don't know where he came from, but he seems to be wearing ancient armor from the Warring States period. The Anbu ninja replied. Armor from the Warring States period. Tsunade was stunned. Then, she looked outside again. The next moment. Wait, this is. The blue Suzano with two faces and four arms. This, this is not the legendary one who once fought with my grandfather in the Valley of the End. This. Impossible. Bang. Princess Tsunade suddenly became inexplicably excited and smashed the desk next to her with one punch. She thought of a possibility that she couldn't believe. But Tsunade didn't want to admit that it was true. It must be just a coincidence. Tsunade told herself at this time. But. Hey Salama. Chen Yibin's roar was deafening and full of murderous intent. 
At the same time, the huge blue Susano with legs suddenly clenched its giant hand, and a chakra knife instantly condensed in its hand, and it swung it fiercely, bang bang. The terrifying blade light instantly cut the first Hokage rock carved on the rock wall in the distance into two halves. Even the second and third Hokage's faces were shattered. This power. Princess Tsunade and the Anbu ninjas who had already left the Hokage building couldn't help but smack their lips. The power of this sword was no less than that of an S-level ninjutsu. He was calling out his great-grandfather's name. Who was he? At this moment, Senju Tsunade couldn't help but feel surprised. What a terrible destructive power. Not far from the huge blue Suzano, Might Guy exclaimed with a serious face. The Hokage rock statue of the first Hokage, and other Hokage. Kurinai Yuhi looked at the Hokage rock elephant that was split in the middle of the mountain wall in the distance and exclaimed in surprise. Red Bean, you must immediately report the situation here to the fifth Hokage, Lady Tsunade, and tell her, an enemy who may be the legendary ninja, Uchiha Madara, has appeared in the village. Here, let us block it first. At this time, Hitaki Kakashi glanced at Yuhi Kurinai and Midarashi Anko. Then, Lu Ju, Hai Yi, Hong, evacuate and protect the surrounding villagers. Then, Kai, Asuma, Choza, we must stop this big guy in front of us. Kakashi continued and quickly said this to the other Jonin around him as if giving an order. Then, Earth escape. Kakashi quickly formed seals with both hands, and then he pressed his hands on the ground. Suddenly, a huge earth wall rose from the ground and covered the huge blue Suzano in the middle. Yo, I don't care who is in front of me. Bloom with youth. Eight gates of ninjutsu. Sixth gate. Open. Might guy has already opened the sixth gate of eight gates of ninjutsu. I just wanted to have a good barbecue, why did things become so serious for no reason? On the side, Midarashi Anko couldn't help but complain a little, but the next second she was still running towards the Hokage building. And Yuhi Kurinai, Nara Shikaku, Yamanaka Inoichi and other senior ninjas on the side also immediately scattered. They also began to release ninjutsu to the huge blue Suzano, or to protect and evacuate the villagers from all directions. In response, looking at the huge earth wall that was smashing towards him first. Ha! In the huge head of Suzano Stage 3, Chen Yibin opened his pair of Mangekio Sharingan and smiled coldly with disdain. Then, swish swish swish. Three more huge chakra blades gathered in the other three big hands of Suzano. Suddenly, it became four arms holding four huge chakra blades. Then, swish. Boom. Four swords slashed at the surroundings simultaneously. Immediately, the huge earth wall that covered it was chopped into pieces. Kakashi, the attack failed. So strong. Kakashi couldn't help but exclaimed. Fire style. Fire dragon flame bullet. At this time, Yuan Fei Asuma released the fire style ninjutsu. See this. You are showing off your skills in front of an expert. On the huge blue Suzano, Chen Yibin, with a pair of scarlet Mangekio Sharingan, showed even more disdain. Then, swish. Another simple slash of the sword directly cut through the surging fire dragon bomb. On the other side, on a street far away. That is. The 12-year-old Uchiha Sasuke was walking on the road, looking up in surprise at the blue Suzano that was dozens of meters tall in the distance. Uchiha Sasuke was shocked by the huge blue Suzano with two faces and four arms in the distance. At the same time, after he jumped onto the roof of a nearby building with agility. There seems to be someone in that monster's head. Etc. The red eyes are. Sharingan. From a distance, Uchiha Sasuke saw Chen Yibin's pair of glowing scarlet eyes in Suzano. And, this feeling, this feeling, is actually the same as that man. No. This is an even more terrifying eye power and chakra than that man. Especially this chakra. How can someone possess such a huge amount of chakra? He. Who is he? Uchiha Sasuke, who is only about 12 years old now, is so surprised and doubtful at this moment. As a member of the Uchiha clan, Uchiha Sasuke can feel the powerful eye power from the Mangekio Sharingan in Chen Yibin's eyes even from a long distance. Uchiha Sasuke has felt this powerful eye power in the eyes of his brother, Uchiha Itachi. It is an extremely cold, powerful and terrifying force. 
However, Uchiha Sasuke actually saw the Sharingan from the eyes of another stranger, and even felt the eye power of the Mangekio Sharingan. What's more, it was more powerful, cold, and terrifying than the pupil power of Uchiha Itachi that he had felt before. Uchiha Sasuke couldn't help but feel shocked and unbelievable. In addition to himself and the sinner Uchiha Itachi, there are other members of the Uchiha clan. At this moment, Uchiha Sasuke was secretly surprised. He still has clan members. And they are so powerful. However, Uchiha Sasuke didn't know why the other party would make such a fuss in the village at this moment. Why? When will my Sharingan? Unconsciously, Uchiha Sasuke discovered that his, dual Magatama Sharingan, had been activated without knowing when. Is it the Uchiha clan's eye power resonance? Uchiha Sasuke is more and more sure that the other party is his clan member. At this time, hem, attracted by a very friendly eye power, Chen Yibin, who had just lost control of the crazy fighting spirit in Uchiha Madara's memory, immediately regained his sanity. It must be said, Uchiha Madara's fighting spirit against Senju Hashirama is really terrible. He is worthy of being a lifelong opponent. Just hearing the name, Senju Hashirama. Chen Yibin, who absorbed the memory of Uchiha Madara, almost completely lost control of the extremely fiery fighting spirit in the memory. A beam of pupil power in the distance, which seemed to be of the same vein, attracted Chen Yibin's attention at this moment. It also allowed him to regain his sanity in time. Then, floating on the head of Suzano, Chen Yibin used the supervision of Mangekio Sharingan at this moment and quickly saw. That is, Uchiha Sasuke. Chen Yibin immediately saw the figure of Uchiha Sasuke on the rooftop in the distance, and recognized him immediately. After all, the second pillar still has a very iconic look. Not to mention his unique clothes and family emblem, the second pillar's hairstyle alone is unique. Moreover, the only one in Konoha who has two Sharingan is Uchiha Sasuke. At this time, Uchiha Sasuke was also on the rooftop looking at Chen Yibin who was holding Suzano, and then, when he saw Chen Yibin staring at him with a pair of Mangekio Sharingan. Uchiha Sasuke instantly felt as if he was being stared at by a ferocious ancient beast. In an instant, Uchiha Sasuke was shocked and felt as if his whole body was frozen and unable to move. Ninja Technique Multiplication Technique at this moment, when Yu Chenyi and Uchiha Sasuke were looking at each other, Akamichi Choza suddenly became huge. At the same time, heart to heart, as a member of the pig, deer and butterfly combination, Yamanaka Inoichi was also preparing to use his secret technique on Chen Yibin in Suzano. Chen Yibin's pair of Mangekio Sharingan, just a glance, instantly made him completely stunned. He fell into the illusion. During this time, Nara Shikaku had already used the shadow binding technique to control Akamichi Choza, who had just performed a high-speed meat bomb roll, and then threw him like a yo-yo towards the giant, two-faced, four-armed blue Suzano that was dozens of meters long. But, get out. Chen Yi Banli shouted, then controlled Suzano's third stage and kicked it hard. The powerful force directly kicked the round meat ball into the sky. And, swoosh boom. Chen Yi Bin instantly gathered a, 8-plate Magatama, and then used Suzano to blast the huge meat ball in the sky. The next moment, a huge arm, covered in blood, swung directly into the air. Well, behind him, Akamichi Choza stopped the rapid tumbling of the meat bomb with the appearance of a broken arm. Ding Zuo. Aside, Kakashi, Yuhi Kuranai, Yamanaka Kaichi, Nara Shikaku and others all exclaimed. That person is really strong. Here, Uchiha Sasuke was watching from the top of a tall building, and was shocked. He was also curious about what kind of ninjutsu this huge Suzano in front of him was. How could it be so powerful? Even as powerful as Kakashi was, with so many Jonin besieging one person, he was completely at a disadvantage. Who is that man? Defeat and cut off the arm of, Akito Dingzo, achieve a primary achievement once, congratulations, primary achievement lottery once. Void, the system prompt interface that only Chen Yibin can see has a sound, and it appears at the same time. Ha! Chen Yibin, his Mangekio Sharingan just glanced at the system prompt in the void. Then he smiled indifferently. The scarlet eyes began to look down at Kakashi and the others around him from the Suzano several dozen meters high. Is this all you have? You guys are like this. 
How to please me? Chen Yibin received almost all of Uchiha Madara's life memories and combat experience, so it is inevitable that he will be more or less influenced by Madara. Especially, the influence of speaking style. In this regard, looking at such a high-ranking Chen Yibin. Kakashi, Asuma, what should we do? He, he is really too strong. Beside him, Yuhi Kurinai frowned. The chakra of that Orochimaru might be as fragile as that of a genin in front of this man. He is so strong that he is like a monster. While running towards the Hokage building at high speed, Midarashi Anko looked back with doubt and exclaimed. The reaction of Chen Yibin's chakra was really amazing. During this time, Hitaki Kakashi looked at the blue Suzano that was dozens of meters tall in front of him, especially sensing Chen Yibin's chakra inside the Suzano. Kakashi couldn't help but feel a little helpless. This terrifying chakra is simply a human-shaped tailed beast. Don't forget, I'm here too. Konoha's blue beast appears. Look at me. Towards the peacock. To the peacock. Suddenly, a loud shout that seemed to represent infinite and fiery youth was heard. It turned out that Might Guy had opened six of the eight gates of the ninjutsu and completed it at this moment. At the same time, when others failed, Might Guy was now burning with turbulent blue steam. Then he rushed to the huge blue Suzano. He directly launched his ultimate move after opening the sixth gate of the eight gates of the ninjutsu. To the peacock. Boom boom boom. The powerful fist rubbed the air to produce flames, which combined with the extremely strong air cannon that burst out. In an instant, it was like a flaming peacock, bombarding the huge blue Suzano in front of it. Then, under Suzano third stage, Chen Yibin was hit by the powerful air cannon towards the peacock and retreated several steps. But, Jung. Responding, the four giant arms of the blue Suzano swung forward with giant chakra blades, directly cutting off all the peacock flame air cannons that Might Guy was bombarding. Even more, he instantly condensed the eight plate Magatama again and threw it at Might Guy. Fortunately, Might Guy's speed and reaction ability were extremely fast when the six gates of the eight gates were opened, and he dodged Chen Yibin's eight plate Magatama. It was not like Akamichi Choza who had his arm cut off directly. Boom. Might Guy dodged the eight-plate Magatama, but the buildings in front were not so lucky. They were all shattered into pieces by the terrifying force of the eight-plate Magatama. During. Swish, 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 swish. Many members of the Anbu nearby also rushed here at this time. Kakashi, what happened here? A masked man who looked like the captain of the Anbu was shocked by Suzano after landing. He immediately asked Kakashi when he reacted. At the same time, there were some Anbu ninjas who knew medical ninjutsu around. They had removed the broken arm of Akamichi Choza and started to treat him. But the broken arm could not be reattached. Perhaps, if the medical master, now their fifth generation Hokage, Princess Tsunade, came, there would be some hope. Now these Anbu can only temporarily and simply stop the bleeding and heal Akamichi Choza quickly. And at this moment, Hitaki Kakashi. You may not believe it. But please believe, the enemy in front of you is the legendary ninja, Uchiha Madara. Glancing at the captain of the Anbu, Kakashi said with a serious look in his eyes. What? Upon hearing this, the captain of the Anbu and every Anbu member around him were all stunned. They really couldn't believe what Kakashi said at this moment. What Kakashi said is true. The man in front of him possesses the mysterious Mangekio Sharingan of the Uchiha clan. At this time, Yuhi Kurinai came over and added. Mangekio Sharingan. The Anbu ninjas were shocked. Then, they wanted to look up and see Chen Yibin inside the huge Suzano head. Don't look into his eyes. Kakashi shouted hurriedly. Then he explained. You will fall into the terrible illusion from the Mangekio Sharingan. At this time, release. On the side, an Anbu ninja seemed to want to help the motionless Yamanaka Inoichi to remove some kind of illusion. However, as the Anbu ninja's hands formed seals and the mouth in the mask shouted, release. Yamanaka Inoichi still had a stupid face and dull eyes, and continued to be motionless. How come? The Anbu was a little bit unconvinced. The illusion of the Mangekio Sharingan is not something that ordinary ninjas can break. Kakashi spoke again. At this moment, Kakashi's expression was extremely solemn. The Anbu ninjas beside him also hurriedly lowered their heads, not daring to really look up at Chen Yibin's eyes on Suzano. In response, ah, 
looking at the Anbu ninjas who were trying to save Akamichi Choza and solve the Mangekyo illusion that Yamanaka Inoichi was in, Chen Yibin smiled coldly in the head of Suzano. During this time, the Mangekyo Sharingan flashed a cold scarlet light. What's the use of a mob, no matter how many of them come? Let me show you. What is the real ninjutsu? On the blue Suzano several dozen meters high, Chen Yibin, wearing red armor, said to himself proudly. The next moment. Fire style. Great fire extinguishment. Chen Yibin made seals with both hands and puffed up his mouth. The next moment, a terrifying high temperature flame surged out of Chen Yibin's mouth. In an instant, it was like a raging sea of fire and a pouring galaxy. It rushed towards all the Anbu ninjas below, as well as Kakashi, Kurinai Yuhi, Asuma, Might Guy, and everyone else. The scope of the technique is very large. Yuhi Kurinai couldn't help but exclaim. At the same time, she reacted like Kakashi and the Anbu ninjas around her, as well as many other ninjas who knew water escape techniques. Water style. Water array wall. He quickly formed a seal and released a water style ninjutsu. Finally, the water style released by dozens of ninjas together was able to block Chen Yibin's attack, great fire extinguishing. Hissing. But at this moment, the air was full of white steam, blocking the combat vision of many people. Konoha Whirlwind. At the critical moment, Might Guy appeared again and performed physical skills in the powerful state of the Eight Gates of Dunjia and the Six Gates. Instantly swept up the infinite gust of wind, sweeping away the steam. However, swoosh, suddenly. A sickle weapon slashed towards his throat the moment Might Guy blew away the steam. It turned out that Chen Yibin had left Suzano and was holding a sickle weapon that he had taken out from somewhere and attacked Might Guy. Kai. Kakashi's worried voice. Ding. Clang. However, Might Guy reacted very quickly to defend himself with the six doors open. However, Might Guy, who was unarmed, was still scratched in the abdomen by the sickle in Chen Yibin's hand, which looked like the weapon of the god of death. Chen Yibin was also temporarily kicked away by Might Guy with a powerful kick. In response, with a swish, Chen Yibin landed on the roof of a building. In this way, many Konoha ninjas holding sickle weapons overlooking the streets below, especially Might Guy. You are very good. But, if you want to fight me, your cyan steam is not enough. Chen Yibin smiled calmly while looking down at Might Guy on the street below. Squeak. Suddenly, a burst of fierce bird calls suddenly sounded behind Chen Yibin. It turned out that Kakashi over there had always been a shadow clone. Kakashi's real body had been in the dark preparing to attack Chen Yibin. This was the last chance. Kakashi held the Reikiri and attacked Chen Yibin's heart from behind at an extremely fast speed. Haha, he is really as dark as that guy Tobarama. The next second, Kakashi's Reikiri successfully pierced the heart of Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor. At this moment, Kakashi Hitaki's left eye's Sharingan had already revealed. Kakashi, well done. At this time, Might Guy couldn't help but cheer. But, poof. Chen Yibin, whose heart was pierced by the lightning, turned into a cloud of white mist and disappeared. Nani. Not good. Kakashi was horrified. He immediately wanted to retreat as fast as possible. But, a tall red figure flashed in front of him. He reached back and dug it out. As a stream of red blood flowed out. Kakashi's left eye, the Sharingan, was instantly dug out by Chen Yibin. Ah uh ah, -uh. Kakashi couldn't help but groan in pain. Kakashi. Might Guy, Kurinai Yuhi, Asuma and others beside him all shouted anxiously, and rushed over quickly to rescue Kakashi. In response, the mantis stalks the cicada. There's someone behind the scenes. Chen Yibin smiled faintly and said to Kakashi in front of him. During this time, Chen Yibin's actions did not stop at all, and the sickle weapon in his other hand suddenly chopped towards Kakashi's head. Kakashi was actually very strong, and his strength as an elite Jonin was always among the best in Konoha village. But, at this moment, Kakashi was facing Chen Yibin, who possessed all the strength of Uchiha Madara. In front of Chen Yibin, Kakashi was like a toddler. Weak. Too weak. In front of Chen Yibin, Kakashi had no power to resist. The next moment, Chen Yibin was about to chop off Kakashi's head with the sickle in his hand. Kakashi. Asuma, Nara Shikaku, Yuhi Kurinai and other companions were very anxious, but even Might Guy, 
who had opened the six gates of the eight gates, couldn't get there in time. Boom. But, the next second, it was Chen Yibin who flew out. Kakashi. Cheer up. At this moment, a beautiful figure kicked Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor, away at the critical moment, and glanced at Kakashi next to him. Kakashi, who had escaped the disaster by covering his bleeding left eye, looked at the woman in front of him with a little surprise and surprise. Five generations. Hokage-sama. At the critical moment, it was indeed, Princess Tsunade, the current fifth generation Hokage of Konoha, who arrived in time and kicked Chen Yibin away. Then, Princess Tsunade stepped forward and covered Kakashi's bleeding left eye with her hand, and began to operate the medical ninjutsu in her hand, and quickly treated Kakashi's eye. The Sharingan was taken away. While treating him, Tsunade asked while keeping alert. Yes, I'm sorry. Kakashi said apologetically. At the same time, looking at the charming Tsunade in front of him. Fifth Hokage, the other party is very likely. Uchiha Madara. Tsunade suddenly answered and asked again, is that right? Hi, yes. Kakashi nodded. At this time, swish 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 swish. Might Guy, Kurinai Yuhi, Asuma and other senior ninjas finally arrived at the rooftop. At the same time, countless Anbu ninjas followed closely behind Tsunade and flashed to the battlefield. In addition, Midarashi Anko, who had just gone to inform Tsunade, also returned to the battlefield. Kakashi, how are you? Might Guy asked worriedly as soon as he arrived. Hokage-sama. The others saluted Tsunade-ji first. Everyone, be alert to the enemy. Tsunade gave the order directly. Quote. Yes. Yuhi Kurinai, Asuma, Nara Shikaku, and countless Anbu ninjas immediately stepped forward, alerting Chen Yibin's direction. In the ruins of a collapsed building, bang. A blue chakra skeleton hand several meters in size suddenly shook off the ruins and stones buried on it. Then, Chen Yibin was seen standing in the ruins with the protection of Suzano Phase 1. During this time, he held a sickle in one hand and a three Magatama Sharingan that he had dug out from Kakashi's left eye in the other hand. This is Uchiha Obito's Kamiyu Sharingan. Whoosh. The next second, the Sharingan in Chen Yibin's hand suddenly disappeared. But in the internal space of the achievement sign in system. Grid 1, Uchiha Round Fan. Grid 2, Three Magatama Sharingan X9. Grid 3, The Flesh and Blood of Otsutsuki Ashura. Grid 4, Kamui Sharingan Left Eye. Obviously, the weapon, the sickle, was also taken out from the system's internal space. It's really Suzano. At this time, looking at the incomplete blue skull on Chen Yibin's body, Tsunade frowned. At the same time, she quickly healed Kakashi's eye injury temporarily. But for the time being, Kakashi can only use his right eye. The next second, Chen Yibin suddenly removed the Suzano phase one foot on his body. Then, this attitude, really are. It really looks like the stone statue of Uchiha Madara in the Valley of the End. On the side, countless Anbu ninjas looked at Chen Yibin's image, and they couldn't help but exclaimed. Motor. Tsunade-ji couldn't calm down at this moment. Who are you? Tsunade still held on to a last bit of hope, hoping that it wasn't really Uchiha Madara who had resurrected. At this moment, Chen Yibin also looked at Tsunade with her amazing breasts through his Mangekio Sharingan. When I entered the village just now, I heard that the granddaughter of, Hashirama, became the fifth Hokage. Is it you, the woman? Chen Yibin spoke in a gentle tone, as if chatting. So what if it's me? Tsunade waved her slender hand and continued to shout. No matter who you are, I hope you leave Konoha immediately. Otherwise, you will face the attack of all the ninjas in Konoha. Tsunade said this with high spirits. But I don't know if she was as calm as she appeared to be. I just want to know. How much strength did you inherit from that guy? Chen Yibin waved the sickle in his hand lightly, and then said with a slightly evil smile in his scarlet eyes. And. Swish. The next second, Chen Yibin, wearing red armor and holding a sickle, rushed towards Tsunade and other ninjas on the rooftop. He's so fast. The ninjas around couldn't help but exclaimed in shock. Take down the invading enemy. Princess Tsunade waved her hand and ordered. Soon, a group of Anbu ninjas immediately followed the order and rushed forward to meet the surging Chen Yibin. Then, bang 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 bang, L. 
As soon as they met, more than a dozen Anbu ninjas were kicked and vomited blood like a ball and flew backwards. The speed of flying backwards was faster than the speed at which they rushed over. An Anbu ninja swung his sword at Chen Yibin, but Chen Yibin blocked it with his sickle. And as Chen Yibin slashed back with the sickle in his hand. Ah! Uh -uh. The Anbu ninja was cut in half. At this moment, in a dark underground base. What's happening outside? What was the vibration just now? Shimura Danzo glanced at the two root guards beside him and asked. It seemed as if he was ordering them to investigate the cause. Just as the guards were about to leave, swish swish swish. Three other root ninjas suddenly appeared nearby. Master Danzo, something bad has happened outside. The three root ninjas who seemed to be delivering the message all looked a little panicked and uncertain. Quote, why are you panicking? Tell me, what's going on? Danzo shouted with a cold look. Master Danzo, it's Uchiha Madara. The legendary ninja Uchiha Madara is not dead at all. He has appeared in our Konoha village and is slaughtering Anbu ninjas. Strong, he is too strong. Kakashi, Akamichi Choza and other Jonin are no match for him. The fifth Hokage Tsunade has arrived at the battlefield, and now it seems that the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara cannot be stopped. The three root ninjas kept reporting in a hurry. You, what are you talking about? Danzo couldn't keep calm for a moment. Uchiha Madara. At this moment, the wide streets of Konoha village, which were once prosperous, became desolate, and countless civilians fled in a hurry. There were even bloody corpses on the ground. They were all Konoha. Anbu ninjas. At this time, a tall figure in red armor stood among a large number of corpses and stuck the sickle weapon in his hand into the ground. Oh, it's so ugly. Chen Yibin looked at the dozens of Konoha Anbu ninjas who were killed by him like cutting melons and vegetables, and smiled coldly. Maybe it was because he accepted the life memory of Uchiha Madara. Chen Yibin had completely ignored life without realizing it. He slaughtered dozens of Konoha Anbu ninjas, and the ground was covered with blood. The smell of blood was extremely pungent. But Chen Yibin didn't feel uncomfortable at all. It was as if he was the real Shira from hell. How? Dot how come? At this moment, Kakashi, Kurinai Yuhi, Mitarashi Anko and other ninjas beside Tsunade were all looking at the powerful figure in red armor in shock. They couldn't believe it. The dozens of Anbu ninjas who had just rushed over were stopped by him in less than 10 seconds. Kill them all. Too fast. Shihi Hong and the others couldn't even see Chen Yibin's movements clearly. In the blink of an eye, they saw those Anbu ninjas being beheaded. It was horrible. Asshole. Princess Tsunade was shocked by Chen Yibin's strength. Although she could kill dozens of Anbu ninjas if she wanted to, it was impossible for someone like Chen Yibin to kill them all in 10 seconds. Even Tsunade Ji didn't dare to say that. But Chen Yibin did it directly. He even looked like he hadn't tried his best yet. This strength completely shocked every Konoha ninja present. At this time. Um. What? You don't even dare to do the most basic dance. Chen Yibin opened his scarlet Mangekio Sharingan and looked at the many ninjas of Konoha across from him, each of whose faces were filled with fear. Motor. Tsunade Ji shouted. What is your purpose? Quote. Purpose. Chen Yibin murmured to himself. Then. Take back everything that originally belonged to Uchiha Madara. Chen Yibin said something ambiguous. Nani. Tsunade, Kakashi and others were a little confused. Once upon a time, one of the conditions for the alliance between the Uchiha and Senju was that I, Uchiha Madara, would become the first Hokage, as promised by Hasirama himself. But, finally, he deceived me. At this moment, Chen Yibin seemed to have fallen into the depths of Uchiha Madara's memory again, telling the original Uchiha Madara's unwillingness. That day, no one followed me away. Behind me, no one is there. As if stimulated by the memory in his mind, Chen Yibin couldn't help but feel sad and angry. Chen Yibin couldn't help but clench his hand holding the sickle weapon. Finally. Everyone, get out of Konoha. I can spare you. This was Chen. Yibin's last words. Uchiha Madara should have a place. Now, Chen Yibin wants to take back everything that once belonged to that man for Uchiha Madara. Even if it is, to get a little reward for Uchiha Madara's supreme power. Impossible. After hearing this, Princess Tsunade directly waved her fist to reject Chen Yibin. 
Kakashi, Asuma, Might Guy and others took a step forward, all with a determined look on their faces. Even Akamichi Choza, whose arm was cut off by Chen Yibin's, eight-plate Magatama, just now, was simply treated and now stood in front of Chen Yibin again. Seeing this, Chen Yibin stopped talking. Instead, he held the sickle weapon and slowly, clack, despair. Step forward. One step at a time, they walked towards the Konoha ninjas in front. They were full of murderous intent, and they did not hide it at all. Suddenly, some ordinary ninjas could not help but retreat in fear. Some even bowed their heads and prayed. Everyone, cheer up, this is for us. Tsunade Sama spoke up to boost morale. But, Chen Yibin rushed over directly, not giving her any more time to talk nonsense. Fire style. Asuma launched a ninjutsu first. I told you not to show off your skills before an expert. Chen Yibin jumped up and shouted coldly in the air. At the same time, he temporarily put the sickle weapon into the system's internal space. Fire style. Great fire extinction. Boom. The terrifying raging fire was like a giant arrow that rushed towards the Konoha ninjas in front of it. It instantly broke through the fire ninjutsu that Asuma had originally released, and quickly attacked Tsunade, Kakashi and others. In response, Tsunade, Kakashi, Kuranai, Might Guy and others avoided the fire. Ah. But the great fire extinguished still burned some of the Anbu ninjas and civilian ninjas who were unable to dodge into charcoal. And Chen Yibin had already taken out the sickle weapon from the system space again, and at the same time. Whoosh. As. Yuan Fei Asma had just stood still after dodging the fierce fire, Chen Yibin's red shira-like figure suddenly appeared in front of him. In an instant, Asma felt a moment. His heartbeat stopped inexplicably. It was not until Asuma saw Chen Yibin swinging the sickle in his hand and slashing at his body that he woke up immediately. Then he held the kanai and prepared to resist. But. Ha. Chen Yibin, who had long hair down to his waist, laughed. All of Yuan Fei Asuma's movements were exposed without any secrets under the powerful insight of his, Mangekio Sharingan. The sickle that was originally slashing towards Asuma's body changed its attack strangely, and the smooth slash became upwards. Then a streak of blood was seen floating in the air. Asuma covered his throat, and blood continued to flow out of his throat. Asthma. Asthma. With a cry of surprise. Yuan Fei Asuma's throat continued to bleed, and his vitality quickly faded, until he finally fell to the ground. And this cry of grief was made by Nara Shikamaru. Yes, it seemed that the, twelve little strongmen of Konoha, in the original drama were attracted here. Shikamaru was even more shocked and looked at Yuan Fei Asuma who fell over there in disbelief. Asuma teacher. Akamichi Choji and Yamanaka Ino both looked incredulous. Asthma. Shiri Hong was not far away and was also stunned at this moment. Asshole. Might Guy rushed towards Chen Yibin with blue steam all over his body. During this time, Kakashi also condensed, Reikiri, again, and Might Guy attacked Chen Yibin from both sides. I told you, if you call me. The color of steam you have now is not enough. Chen Yibin shouted arrogantly. But he still launched a few punches and kicks with Might Guy. It must be said that although Might Guy is still no match for Chen Yibin after opening the six gates, he is enough to delay him for a while. Just at this time, Kakashi rushed over with Reikiri. But now Kakashi no longer has the inside assistance of the, Sharingan. Of course, for Kakashi now, it has little impact. Seeing Asuma's death, Kakashi at this moment also burst out with anger in his heart. Reikiri rushed over as fast as if he was going to pierce Chen Yibin's chest with one blow. Quote. Hump. Bugged. Chen Yibin, who was entangled by Might Guy, showed a disdainful smile. The next second, a powerful pupil power and chakra burst out. Suzano, the second stage, roared to the sky and emerged from Chen Yibin's body. Boom. The powerful explosive force directly knocked back Might Guy and Kakashi. Kakashi teacher. At this time, Uzumaki Naruto, one of the twelve little strong men and the main character of the original drama, looked at the scene and couldn't help but exclaim in surprise. Especially when he saw the corpses on the ground. Uzumaki Naruto was a little shocked. That is. On the side, Uchiha Sasuke was also near the battlefield at this time. Then, Urzuzi saw Chen Yibin's appearance clearly. You. Uchiha Madara. 
Uchiha Sasuke recognized Chen Yibin's appearance. Not to mention the huge stone statues of Uchiha Madara and Senju Hashirama in the Valley of the End, you have to know that as a member of the Uchiha clan, Hashirama has seen portraits of Uchiha Madara in many families in the former Uchiha clan. As the strongest man in the Uchiha clan, many members of the Uchiha clan used to worship Uchiha Madara. Therefore, Uchiha Sasuke quickly recognized who Chen Yibin was. Impossible, the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara, shouldn't he have? Izuku couldn't believe that the super strong man who was originally dead actually appeared in front of him alive. Moreover, he was his own clan member and ancestor. When he was about to go find Orochimaru, why did such an incredible thing happen suddenly? And, he is so strong. The opponent is really strong. Uchiha Sasuke looked at Chen Yibin, who was almost teasing Kakashi and Might Guy and other senior ninjas, and Izuku was extremely confused. Snake Shadow Hidden Hand. At this time, Midarashi Anko launched a special ninjutsu, and multiple poisonous tongues shot from her hands towards Chen Yibin. Stupid. Chen Yibin sneered. With a thought, the huge Suzano simply waved his hand and directly dispersed the attack of Midarashi Anko. You don't have much time left. Leave Konoha as soon as possible. Chen Yibin seemed to be making a final ultimatum. Chen Yibin glanced at the positions of the two little guys, Uzumaki Naruto and Uchiha Sasuke. Ashura and Indra in this life. Their power seems to be very good. Chen Yibin had made up his mind, but he didn't show it on the surface. On the other side, don't be so complacent. Tsunade suddenly flew up and punched Suzano too hard. The second level Suzano was still not strong enough, and a crack appeared under Tsunade's angry punch. Oh. Chen Yibin pretended to be slightly surprised and said, Hasirama's strange power. But, it seems like you haven't learned enough. The next second, Suzano was instantly restored to full strength. How can I fix it? Tsunade G was a little unwilling. She wanted to punch and kick again. But, bang. Suzano's big hand condensed a huge chakra knife and slashed it down. Tsunade had to retreat. You are just a woman, do you think you can be the same as Hasalama? Even if you are his descendant. Chen Yibin clasped his hands in front of his chest in the blue Suzano, and glanced at Tsunade outside with a proud look on his face. The strongest thing I inherited from my great-grandfather. It is Konoha's will of fire. Tsunade shouted loudly. Will of fire. Chen Yibin raised his eyebrows, then sneered. What a stupid joke. Truly inheritable. Only hatred. Chen Yibin continued to speak meaningfully. Who is that guy? And what is that blue thing? He is so strong. He can even withstand Tsunade's fist. Uzumaki Naruto exclaimed. Shut up. Suddenly, Might Guy appeared behind Chen Yibin's blue Suzano. Boom. A heavy kick hit Suzano's back. The force was no less than Tsunade's attack just now, or even stronger. Because Suzano had two cracks at this time. What will happen? Uchiha Sasuke couldn't help but worry about Chen Yibin. At this time, Earth Escape. Times Kakashi didn't know when he had gathered countless Konoha ninjas who could use Earth Escape techniques. Then, they all used Earth Escape techniques on Chen Yibin at the same time. Boom boom boom. Suddenly, rows of huge earth walls, earth balls, and earth blocks were seen from all directions, covering Chen Yibin in the Suzano in the middle. During this time, Kakashi and others did not care about the houses of the surrounding Konoha villagers. All of them were covered by the earth walls and covered Suzano. In response, Chen Yibin opened his pair of scarlet Mangekio Sharingan and watched calmly. Boom. Finally, like a mountain pressing down on its head, the huge Suzano was sandwiched between rows of even larger earth walls. In an instant, smoke and dust billowed. Quick. Tsunade-sama waved her hand at the right time. Then. Fire style. Countless ninjas who could use fire escape technique unleashed various fire escape techniques on Suzano and Chen Yibin who were blocked by the earth wall. During this time, Shikamaru Nara, who was one of the people who had come to the dead Asuma, looked at the place being attacked by everyone with hatred. Killing, Yuan Fei Asma, achieving a medium achievement once, congratulations for getting, medium achievement lottery once. Killed, 32 Konoha Anbu Ninjas, achieved primary achievement three times, congratulations and got, primary achievement lottery three times. In the void, the system is prompting. Although the timing of the prompt is not right. 
At this moment, Kona has countless ninjas earth escape and fire escape. Finally, the entire Konoha neighborhood was burned into a volcanic lava. Chen Yibin and his, Suzano stage 2 inches were buried under the lava. Did you see it? This is the power of the will of fire in us. Tsunade looked at the scene buried under the lava and couldn't help but shouting. Kakashi, Shikaku, you two did a great job. Tsunade looked at Kakashi and Nara Shikaku. It was Nara Shikaku who came up with the plan of joint attack, and then Kakashi was responsible for executing the plan. As Konoha's think tank, Nara Shikaku could only think of this for the time being. There is no way to effectively attack Chen Yibin. Too strong. How could the strongest man in our clan, who was once said to be among the ninjas watching the battlefield, Uchiha Sasuke was a little bit unconvinced, or unwilling to accept it. Although it was normal to die under the siege of so many ninjas, but that was the strongest clan leader of their Uchiha clan that had always been legendary. How could a strong man who was as famous as Hashirama Senju, who was called the, god of ninjas, die like this? What happened? Why did the man in red armor want to kill Uncle Asuma? At this time, Uzumaki Naruto seemed to be a little confused about the situation. That man. It seems to be the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara. Among the twelve young masters, Tenten beside Neji murmured in disbelief. The legendary super strong man Uchiha Madara is still alive. This is really incredible. The other party's appearance is really similar to the stone statue of Uchiha Madara in the Valley of the End. In addition, the strength of that person against many ninjas including the current 5th Hokage Tsunade Sama seems to prove the identity of the other party, Uchiha Madara, is true or false. You. Uchiha Madara. Uzumaki Naruto exclaimed in surprise. The legendary ninja, wasn't he already dead a long time ago? Naruto continued to wonder in surprise and confusion. It's unclear, or he's not dead. But why is he still so young? Ningji was also confused. Asuma teacher. Shikamaru, Ino, and Choji all looked at Asuma on the ground sadly. The same feeling also existed for the Junin, Yuhi Kuranai. Fifth Hokage, has the other party already. At this time, Kakashi came to Tsunade's side, hesitant to speak. Kakashi certainly hoped that the other party would die. But, it was too easy. Yes, it was too easy. How could the legendary ninja be killed like this? Moreover, Kakashi just saw Chen Yibin not putting up any resistance and just watching them perform earth escape and fire escape. For some reason, Kakashi felt very uneasy. In this regard, Tsunade, who had just finished her heroic words, also frowned. Kakashi. Then, Tsunade was about to say something to Kakashi. But, puff, a huge blue Suzano chakra sword suddenly emerged from the ground under Tsunade, and instantly pierced through Tsunade's entire chest. Hokage. Kakashi's pupils trembled. Countless Anbu ninjas and civilian ninjas beside him also exclaimed. Grandma Tsunade. Here, Uzumaki Naruto was also shocked. In response, a red figure and a blue Suzano too slowly emerged from the soil. Although Uchiha Madara was not proficient in earth escape, it did not mean that he could not do it. Chen Yibin, who had obtained all the power of Madara, could also do it easily. The so-called will of fire you mentioned is worthless in my eyes. Looking at Tsunade who was directly pierced by his second-level Suzano sword, Chen Yibin said coldly. He's still alive. Kakashi couldn't help but feel angry. Asshole. Let go of Grandma Tsunade. On the other side, Uzumaki Naruto suddenly rushed to the center of the battlefield. He quickly created a shadow clone and condensed a Rasengan on his right hand. Which way to drag? Watching Naruto rushing out, Sasuke couldn't help but think of the battle on the rooftop not long ago. The next second, Sasuke clenched his fists unwillingly. During this time, Chen Yibin heard the noise and couldn't help but open his blood-red Mangekio Sharingan and glanced at Uzumaki Naruto. In an instant, hem, a nine-tailed kitten in Uzumaki Naruto's body suddenly woke up. This, this force is colder than my chakra. Motor, how is it possible? How is it possible that he is still alive? Kuroma was so scared that he was sweating. At the same time, sensing that Naruto was actually rushing towards that guy, the nine tails immediately. Whoosh. Forcefully pull Naruto into the sealed space. Hey, Nine Tails, why did you bring me here? 
I want to save Grandma Tsunade. Naruto suddenly came to the sealed space, and after a moment of stunned silence, he immediately pointed at Nine Tails and shouted. Shut up, you little. Julama shouted angrily. Do you know who that guy is? You approached that man so easily, do you want to die, little brat? The Nine Tails shouted angrily. Hearing this, Naruto touched his chin. Ningji and Tenten said that the guy who killed Uncle Asuma might be the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara. Hearing Naruto's words, the Nine Tails became even more uneasy. Is it really that man? Seeing this, Naruto felt that the Nine Tails demon fox at this moment was a little different from usual. Hey, Jue, you seem a little scared. Naruto scratched his head. Stop talking nonsense. Anyway, kid, get away from that man right now. The farther the better. Kayubi cursed angrily. Why? Naruto is still asking. No reason. Nine Tails shouted. And in the next moment, he sent Naruto back to the outside world. Leave now. Naruto returned to the outside world, and in his spiritual world he heard the Nine Tails reminder. No, Grandma Tsunade is in danger now, I have to save her. Naruto shook his head. Baka, who do you think you are? Senju Hashirama. The Nine Tails got anxious and cursed. If you dare to make me become a pet under the power of that man again, I will tear you to pieces. You conceited brat. The legendary Uchiha who was the first to open the Mangekio Sharingan. So strong. Looking at Chen Yibin's blue Suzano second level chakra sword piercing through Tsunade, Uchiha Sasuke couldn't help but sigh inwardly. Just now, so many ninjas used fire escape and earth escape one after another. Chen Yibin was actually fine, not even a scratch. Uchiha Sasuke was surprised by this. However, it seems that this is the strongest clan leader of their Uchiha clan. At this moment, although he was a genin of Konoha, and the other party was an enemy who invaded Konoha, at this moment, Nizuku couldn't help but hope that the Uchiha senior in front of him could win a great victory. Always smiling. They always smile. It's time to let the other people in Konoha taste what it feels like to lose everything. Nizuku couldn't help but think this way in his heart. Here, Chen Yibin looked at Tsunade who was pretending to be dead on the tip of his Suzano chakra. Then he noticed something and glanced at Uzumaki Naruto. It was indeed Uzumaki Naruto's behavior that attracted Chen Yibin's attention for a while. Don't be in a hurry. Nine-tailed fox, wait a minute, I will come and put the collar on you. Looking at Naruto, Chen Yibin's scarlet pupils seemed to see the nine-tailed fox in the other's body and smiled faintly. Motor. In Naruto's body, Kurama shouted angrily. But more. Yes. Disgust, uneasiness. At this moment, Chen Yibin was heard talking to the nine tails. Princess Tsunade suddenly jumped up and cut off Suzano's second level chakra sword with one hand. Don't even think about touching Naruto. Tsunade Ji shouted angrily. At the same time, bang, he stepped forward and kicked hard on the, Suzano level 2 inches on Chen Yibin's body. Immediately, several cracks appeared on the not so strong, Suzano level 2 inches. What a strong power, worthy of being the Hokage. Might guy couldn't help but sigh. Tsunade wanted to completely break the Suzano in front of her, so she continued to swing her fist heavily, go to hell. Bang bang. However, what no one expected was that Chen Yibin took the initiative to use Suzano at this moment, and also used his fist to collide with the angry Tsunade. In an instant, the moment the two powerful fists collided, the chakra that burst out swept up a violent energy and attacked in all directions. Princess Tsunade's fist was blocked. This. Dot how come? All Konoha ninjas were shocked. You. Even Tsunade herself looked at Chen Yibin in front of her with an expression of disbelief. She couldn't believe it. Someone actually dared to compete with her in terms of strength. Not inferior to her at all. Tsunade-sama couldn't believe it. If it was Hasirama, I would not confront him head on. But your words. Just a grain of sand, not even half as good as me. Chen Yibin opened his scarlet Mangekio Sharingan and looked at the shocked Tsunade in front of him with extreme disdain. Then, boom. The terrifying chakra was radiated from his fist, instantly suppressing Tsunade, who was always proud of her strength, in terms of, strength. Nani. Tsunade was beaten back again and again, and she looked completely incredulous. She had lost in the aspect of her strength, which she had always been proud of. 
How could she? Meeting. Chen Yi Bin dodged swiftly when no one seemed to be attacking him. Then. Click. With a pair of scarlet kaleidoscopes open, Chen Yi Bin dodged and then grabbed something invisible with one hand. But soon, he saw that some ninjutsu failed. A Konoha ninja who looked a little sick was being strangled by Chen Yibin's big hand wearing a black glove. Moonlight Gale in the original drama. In the plot, shouldn't he have just died at the hands of the hidden sand village ninja? How come he is still alive? Are there some minor changes to the plot? Well, it doesn't matter. It's better if he's not dead, give me another chance to win the achievement lottery. Humans have always said they like light, but always using shameful and shady means. Looking at Yu Guang Ji Feng, whose throat he was pinching, Chen Yibin spoke so quietly as if he was talking to himself. Blast. At this time, among the Konoha ninjas nearby, a beautiful figure with purple hair looked at the moonlight gale in Chen Yibin's hand nervously. Let him go. The next second, she rushed towards Chen Yibin with a sword in hand. Perhaps she was anxious to save her lover, so she didn't care about sword techniques and ninjutsu at all. During this time, Yu Guang Ji Feng was still struggling to death, swinging the blade in her hand towards Chen Yibin's neck. But, swish. Chen Yibin's movements were still simple and swift, he directly grabbed his opponent's hand with his backhand. Then with a, puff, Chen Yibin brought the moonlight gust of wind to his own hand, letting the weapon in his hand kill him and penetrate his throat. In an instant, the sharp blade penetrated from the front to the back of the neck. Upu. Moonlight Gale vomited blood in an instant. And his body quickly collapsed to the ground. If I just stare at the moonlight and the wind slowly falls to the ground. Asshole. On the side, Uzumaki Naruto shouted angrily. He even wanted to rush up and beat Chen Yibin without knowing his own limitations. Fortunately, Ninki, Tenten, Shikamaru, Choji and other Konoha strongmen stopped the impulsive Naruto. Calm down Naruto. Us. It's impossible to be a match for such a strong man. In such a battle, we can only watch. Shikamaru grabbed Naruto's shoulders and persuaded him. If possible, Shikamaru also wanted to avenge Asuma personally. But, it's impossible, the gap in strength is too big. Even Hokage Tsunade and Kakashi dare not say that they can defeat such an enemy. Naruto, don't go over and disturb Hokage and Kakashi Sensei. Haruno Sakura came over and punched Naruto helplessly. On the other side, Yuhi Kurenai glanced at Azuki Yugao who was standing there not far away, and then looked at Asuma on the ground. A pair of red eyes couldn't help but shed tears. In this regard, Chen Yibin didn't care who he killed. He only knew that the system prompt in the void told him that he had one more chance to sign in for the primary achievement. The seventh gate of the eight gates, the gate of shock. Open. Watching Chen Yibin slaughter two of his friends and dozens of Konoha Anbu ninjas in succession, Mike Guy was completely furious and opened the seven gates directly. You are unforgivable. Daytime Tiger. K. Kakashi was moved as he watched Mike Guy opening the seventh gate of the eight gates. At this moment, the blue steam on Mike Guy's body was extremely dazzling. The chakra reaction on his body was even more amazing. The ninjas watching from all directions were all shocked. Teacher Akai. In the distance, Xiao Li's eyes were filled with tears of excitement. That kind of power. Ninki couldn't help but open his Byakugan bloodline, and then he saw more clearly how powerful and huge the chakra in Might Guy's body was at this moment. Oh. Chen Yibin noticed Might Guy's condition again. Is it just the seventh door? Still not red steam, it seems. I'm still looked down upon. Or, you can only open the seventh gate at most. Chen Yibin still had a calm smile on his face at this time. He didn't care at all how powerful might. Guy's chakra was at this moment. However, Chen Yibin still took Suzano one step further and released the third stage of Suzano. That is, the stage Suzano with two legs, two faces and four arms, dozens of meters tall, that exploded at the barbecue restaurant at the beginning. This is enough. Chen Yibin smiled faintly. Then. Welcome the power of the blue beast from Konoha. Day Tiger. Under the watchful eyes of the crowd, Might Guy leapt up and came in front of Suzano. Punch. Roar. In an instant, Might Guy's fist exploded with a violent air cannon. And formed an incredible, white tiger, posture. So roaring, he attacked the huge Suzano in front of him, the third stage. 
During this time, Chen Yiban, swoosh swoosh swoosh. The four-armed Suzano Sandin condensed eight-plate Magatama with four big hands at the same time. Immediately, four shots were fired. Then, looking at the surging, Day Tiger Air Cannon, Chen Yibin's mind moved, and Suzano immediately threw out four, eight-plate Magatama. Suddenly, the four-shot eight-board Magatama and the Day Tiger's Air Cannon collided with each other. The shock wave that erupted directly blew away everything in all directions. Wow. Ske. Naruto couldn't help but exclaimed while being blown away. Lady Tsunade, are you okay? Shizune ran over to Tsunade worriedly. Shizune, I'm fine. Tsunade replied. Master Tsunade, you. Seal on forehead. Have you used creation and regeneration? Shizune looked at Tsunade in front of her and couldn't help but be surprised. At this time, the diamond-shaped crystal on Tsunade's forehead had disappeared. Her whole body was covered with some kind of black chakra runes. It was Tsunade who had unlocked the yin seal that stored chakra for many years, and used creation and regeneration to heal the chest injury that had just been pierced by Chen Yiban Suzano. In this regard, Tsunade no longer answered Shizune at this time. Her eyes were always looking at the surging four, eight-plate Magatama, and Day Tiger, that were constantly fighting. During this period, when an eight-plate Magatama reached the Day Tiger, it had little effect. Day Tiger continued to kill with full momentum. However, when there were two eight-plate Magatama, Day Tiger's speed was obviously slower. When there were three and four, the Day Tiger almost became a turtle. He actually blocked the Day Tiger. At this time, Might Guy's body was red, and Blue Steam was evaporating. But he looked surprised. His understanding of the strength of the legendary ninja, Uchiha Madara, became more profound. As expected, he is the legendary ninja Shira, Uchiha Madara. But, my youth has not yet ended. Towards the peacock. Might Guy, who had opened seven gates in a row, now used the physical technique that he could use at the sixth gate, towards the peacock. Boom boom boom. Instantly, countless red air cannons blasted forward like peacocks. Then, together with the, Day Tiger, just now, they attacked the four-shot eight-board Magatama. Interesting. Chen Yibin smiled coldly. Then he asked Suzano's four big hands to condense four chakra swords, and continued to cut out sharp sword lights. Bang bang bang. Both sides continued to attack. The powerful shock wave tore apart all the houses in Konoha within a few hundred meters. Not good. Everyone, retreat quickly. Tsunade saw that the two forces in the middle were about to collapse and explode. So she immediately looked at all the Konoha ninjas in all directions and told them to escape. At the same time, Tsunade herself quickly dodged and retreated. Sure enough, soon. Boom. A violent explosion sounded. The shock wave that erupted instantly tore apart all the houses in Konoha within a kilometer. Even though Kakashi, Nara Shikaku, Akamichi Choza, Naruto, Neji and many other Konoha ninjas tried their best to run a long distance, they were still blown away by the violent shock wave. K. Kakashi finally grabbed Naruto, Sakura and Sasuke and hid under a wall to avoid the impact. He couldn't help but worry about Might. Guy. Might Guy, with his seven gates open and his whole body flushed red, used his hands to block the strong shock wave that fell on the ground not far from Kakashi. Ha. Ha hu. Might Guy was breathing heavily. He looked a little tired. Kakashi. Kakashi shouted. Teacher thick eyebrows. Naruto also said. During this time, Haruno Sakura and Uchiha Sasuke were also looking at Might Guy in surprise. They probably didn't expect that Might Guy would have such a powerful secret technique. Kakashi, Harugashi and Chao Konk, none of them can do anything to the legendary ninja, Uchiha Madara. At this time, Might Guy glanced at Kakashi not far away, and said this in the direction of Chen Yiban. At the same time, Might Guy had already made a decision in his heart. One last time, leave Konoha and I won't kill you. At this moment, floating on the head of, Suzano level 3 feet, Chen Yibin opened his pair of Scarlet Mangekyo Sharingan and looked coldly at Tsunade, Might Guy and others. How did Grandpa fight a one-on-one -on -one battle with such a being? Tsunade couldn't help but feel powerless. Might. Guy had opened seven gates. He couldn't do anything to the other party. Seeing Chen Yibin at the head of Suzano, he didn't suffer any damage at all. Dot dot dot. 
Susano was not broken. Uchiha Madara. It, s really so strong that it makes people despair. At this time, suddenly more Konoha ninjas learned about the battle and came here. During this period, we can see that the people who came are Akamichi clan, Nara clan, Yamanaka clan. As well as the Bayakugan, which is as famous as the Uchiha clan's Sharingan, the Hyuga clan's chief, Hyuga Hiyashi, also came to the battlefield with many Bayakugan ninjas. In an instant, the number of ninjas around the battlefield was no less than a thousand. Naruto kun. Hinata Hyuga, who had just followed her clan leader father Hiyashi Hyuga to the battlefield, couldn't help but look at Uzumaki Naruto who was standing beside Kakashi not far away. That is, looking at the blue Suzano level 3 that was several dozen meters tall, Hinata Hiyashi couldn't help but frown. Then, Hokage, the current situation is. The other party is really a legendary ninja. Hinata Hiyashi turned around and came to Tsunade-sama again, asking the question hesitantly. My great-grandfather's only rival. Uchiha Madara. Tsunade-sama said this while looking at the blue Suzano standing tens of meters tall. At the same time, she looked at the thousands of elite ninjas from all the major families who had come to the battlefield. Everyone. Unfortunately, I have to tell you that the man with the blue Suzano on his head may be the strongest enemy Konoha has encountered in the past 50 years. His name. It's Uchiha Mata. Can you protect Konoha? This time, it depends on the strength of all of us. Tsunade-sama is trying her best to boost morale. At the same time, she is also telling the newly arrived ninjas from the Hyuga clan, the Yamanaka clan, the Nara clan, and many other Konoha clans how critical the current situation is. Legendary ninja. Uchiha Mata. How is that possible? Wasn't he already dead a long time ago? Yes, how can such a strong man still be alive? Also, that blue monster feels so cold and powerful. Can we really defeat such an enemy? He is a legendary super powerful man who is as famous as the first generation of Hokage who is called the god of ninja by everyone. After hearing Tsunade's words, countless ninjas at the scene were extremely surprised and doubtful. At this time, so many rabble have come, it seems that my situation is very unfavorable. In the blue Suzano level 3, Chen Yibin said with his hands folded in front of his chest. However, although he said that his situation became unfavorable, the corners of his mouth were not filled with sadness. Instead, he showed a sneer of extreme contempt. Chen Yibin did not take the entire Konoha ninja seriously at all. Asshole. Princess Tsunade also noticed the disdain on Chen Yibin's face, and she couldn't help but clench her fists in resentment and unwillingness. So what if it's the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara? We have many friends around us now, and you. There is only one person. Kakashi came out from behind a wall and said in a slightly high voice. Oh. Chen Yibin's smile deepened, and he continued to jokingly say. Is that so? As he said this, he slowly formed a seal in Suzano. The next moment, dozens of similar figures appeared out of thin air around Chen Yibin. And they quickly jumped down from Suzano and came in front of the Konoha ninjas. It was indeed, a full 30 clones of Chen Yibin. Obviously, didn't you say that I was the only one? So, what about now? It's a shadow clone. Why can this guy do it too? Naruto said with his eyes wide open. On the side, Uchiha Sasuke was feeling very complicated at the moment. Sakura looked at the tens of meters tall Suzano, and couldn't help but feel fear in her eyes. Ask a question. These shadow clones, use or not use Suzano? In Suzano's head, Chen Yibin asked all the Konoha ninjas in front of him with a pair of scarlet eyes of Mangekio Sharingan and a faint smile. This. Tsunade-ji was shocked at what she thought. And as if to confirm Tsunade-ji's shocking guess. Swish, 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 swish. Thirty shadow clones, all radiating blue power, finally gathered into one after another dozens of meters tall blue Suzano, level 3. Almost exactly the same as Chen Yibin's original Suzano. And the 30. It blocked the entire view in front of us, leaving only the blue scenery. This. How can this be? Tsunade, Naruto, Kakashi, Sasuke, Sakura, Yuhi Kurenai, Mitarashi Anko, Ino, and every Konoha ninja, all looked in disbelief at this moment. They were extremely shocked. How could there be so many? This is too much. During this time, Kakashi couldn't help but want to slap himself. 
Why did I say so much just now? In response. Boom 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 boom. The Konoha ninjas were all in shock, with many flaws. Would the 30 clones of Chen Yiban just sit there and watch? They just swung their swords and threw their 8 board Magatama. They just started fighting all of a sudden. The 8 board Magatama and the Suzano Chakra Sword Light. They are extremely fast and powerful. Ah. Instantly, there was a great wailing. The 8 plate Magatama and the Sword Light of Suzano's Chakra took away countless lives at once. Kill. 10 Konoha ninjas and achieve a primary achievement once. Congratulations. Get. Primary achievement lottery once. Kill. Akamichi Dingzo, and achieve a medium achievement once. Congratulations on getting. Medium achievement lottery once. Behead. Akamichi Choza had already had one arm cut off by Chen Yibin's body, and now he was besieged by two third level Suzanos. He was pierced through his giant heart by several huge blue chakra knives and fell down. Dosen. Not far away, Akamichi Choji, who was also fighting, cried out in sorrow. The next moment he took the pill and rushed to the rescue in butterfly form. Choji, don't be impulsive. Shikamaru shouted loudly. He knew rationally that he and his ninjas could not fight against the legendary super strong man like Uchiha Madara. However, Choji had lost control and could not be stopped. Boom. The next second, Suzano easily punched the butterfly transformed Choji hard. Although the butterfly transformation is powerful, it depends on who you are facing. The next second, the third level Suzano continued to swing his sword towards Akamichi Choji, preparing to send the father and son down to meet each other. Vomit. Shikamaru was already vomiting blood and couldn't dodge. He was about to die under Suzano's sword. A green figure appeared in time and kicked away Suzano's chakra blade. It was. Might Guy. Day Tiger. Then, Might Guy once again released the super physical technique of the seven gates, Daytime Tiger. He directly forced back the Suzano in front of him. He saved Akamichi Choji. However, there were now 30, Suzano level 3, on the field. They were constantly slaughtering Konoha ninjas. 8 trigrams sky splitting palm. Hayuga Hiyashi and his tribesmen were fighting against so many Suzanos at this moment. But it was extremely difficult. Die. Tsunade Sama has been fighting. But, Suzano third stage, is not something she can easily shake. Well, the next second, a Magatama of eight plates was seen piercing directly into Tsunade's abdomen. If it weren't for the, creation and regeneration, being turned on, Tsunade would have died long ago. They are really a bunch of rabble. Chen Yibin's real body was looking at them coldly. At this point, Might Guy seemed to have made up his mind and looked at Chen Yibin's real body with a determined gaze. Hem. At this time, Chen Yibin, who was holding his hands in front of his chest, also noticed the changes in Might Guy at this moment. It seems that you have finally made up your mind. Have to say, I'm looking forward to it. Chen Yibin opened his blood red Mangekio Sharingan with a smile on his face. The power of Uchiha Madara was too strong, and Chen Yibin was inexplicably longing for an opponent who could really let him face him. In response to this, Kakashi. Might Guy suddenly called out from a distance, and looked at Kakashi who was trying his best to fight against Chen Yibin's shadow clones of Suzano. During this period, Kakashi was already seriously injured. His arms and abdomen were bleeding and injured. But he still insisted on gathering chakra with other Konoha ninjas and releasing ninjutsu to attack those Suzano third level. Then, he suddenly heard the voice of his best friend. K. Kakashi also retreated a distance, separating himself from those, Suzano third stage, and looked towards the direction of Might Guy in the distance. Cassie, this time, I'm the winner. Might Guy and Kakashi looked at each other from a distance and suddenly said this. Might. Guy and Kakashi are lifelong, rivals. The two of them have been competing in various long-term competitions. During this period, it can be said that Might Guy lost more than he won. However, Might Guy felt that he should be the winner this time. Akai. What do you want to do? Kakashi had a bad feeling in his heart. At this time, all of Chen Yibin's shadow clones at the scene stopped attacking with their, Suzano, level 3. Even. Swoosh 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 swoosh. All disappeared. All the chakra returned to Chen Yibin's body. Chen Yibin knew what Might Guy wanted to do. So, of course, he tried his best to take back all the power in himself. 
because he was about to face. It is very likely a six paths level physical technique. Even Chen Yiban, who has the ability to create Madara's full combat power, dare not be arrogant. At this moment, it can be said that the only person in Konoha who can make Chen Yiban take him seriously is only Might Guy. Therefore, Chen Yiban withdrew those shadow clones that were teasing many Konoha ninjas. He concentrated all his strength on the main body. This is a respect for the strongest physical opponent who is about to come. Akai, have you reached that level? Seeing that Chen Yibin's clones had disappeared, Tsunade jumped to the side of Might Guy at the right time, and then looked at Might Guy in front of her with a little surprise and hope. Lord Hokage, please keep everyone at the scene away as much as possible. Because the blue beast of Konoha wants to bloom all its youth for Konoha. Might Guy has slowly lowered his body and is gathering strength. In this regard, Chen Yibin could have disturbed Might Guy. But Chen Yibin didn't. But Chen Yibin would not do nothing. Squeak. Suddenly, blood suddenly gushed out of Chen Yibin's right eye in the head of Suzano. Chen Yibin had dug out his original right eye Mangekio Sharingan. Then, he put it into the system's internal space without anyone noticing. At the same time, hiss. He performed a simple medical ninjutsu and pressed on the bleeding right eye. The next second, the medical ninjutsu was retracted and Chen Yibin's hand moved away. A three Magatama Sharingan appeared in the eye socket of his right eye. In this way, Chen Yibin's left eye was in the Mangekio Sharingan state, while his right eye was in the ordinary three Magatama state. He had obviously taken back the power of the shadow clone and strengthened his main body's combat power. Why did he switch to the ordinary three Magatama Sharingan to reduce his combat power at this moment? Teacher Akai. Here, Shao Li seemed to understand Might Guy's determination, and once again looked at his teacher Might Guy with tears in his eyes. Shao Li. Be brave and carry out your youth. Might Guy glanced at the direction of his disciples in the distance. Then, under the gaze of countless Konoha ninjas from all directions. Eight Gates of Dunjia. The Eighth Gate, the Gate of Death. Go. Might. Guy roared as he gathered all his strength. In an instant, blood-red steam exploded. Might Guy seemed to have turned into a bloody man covered in blood-red steam, looking as hideous as if he had been roasted. Teacher Akai. Little Lee burst into tears. At this time, the powerful chakra that erupted from Might Guy's body continuously shook the air, forming strong winds that swept in all directions. Akai. When Kakashi raised his hand to block the strong wind, he looked at the blood-red figure with shock. He couldn't help but recall the scene when he and his father first met Might Guy when he was a child. At that time, Kakashi's father, Hitaki Sakumo, said, Might Guy will definitely become a very powerful ninja in the future. At that time, little Kakashi didn't think so. But, at this moment. Father, you are right. Kakashi's eyes were now filled with admiration and amazement. This power. Many members of the Hyuga clan who had Byakugan, such as Hyuga Hiyashi, Hyuga Neji, Hyuga Hanada, etc., opened their Byakugan at this moment, and then, one by one, they looked at Might Guy with blood-red steam bursting out of his body in amazement. Akai. Princess Tsunade looked in admiration. At the same time, she felt deeply regretful. Because she knew what would happen after the eight gates of the eight gates were opened. But this chakra was really too strong. Even the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara could not defeat Might Guy who was exploding with absolute power at the cost of his life at this moment. In response, this chakra, such blood red steam. I recognize you as a guy. Then, let's dance. Chen. Yibin, who is in the third level of Suzano, felt inexplicably excited at this moment. The next moment, Chen Yibin's left eye, eternal Mangekio Sharingan, suddenly opened. I will also fight hard. Suddenly, Chen Yibin's, Suzano stage 3 inches suddenly grew larger. Finally, it became a bloated Suzano with a body size of, over 80 meters. At the scene, countless Konoha ninjas were stunned. Then, not yet finished. Sure. Chen Yibin slowly smiled and clenched his right fist. Clang clang clang. The bloated Suzano suddenly grew in size, and even took on a blue armor. The Suzano complete form that appeared in the original drama stands in front of every Konoha ninja. Because Chen Yibin only has one eternal Mangekio now, the Suzano complete form is only about 130 meters at this moment. 
instead of more than 200 meters like, Uchiha Madara, in the original drama. However, compared to the, Suzano third stage, which was only about 40 meters long just now, the, Suzano complete form, at this time is already huge enough. It can be said that it has increased by more than three times. Good, so big. Princess Tsunade, looking at the Suzano in front of her in disbelief. This. Kakashi, Nara Shikaku, Yuhi Kuranai, Midarashi Anko and countless other elite ninjas from Konoha were all stunned. Too big. Uchiha Madara. Is he still a human being? Shuri Hong couldn't help but murmur to herself. Is this the strongest person in our clan? If I had such power. Uchiha Sasuke's eyes widened. He was extremely eager to possess such a powerful force. Then, he could take revenge on that man. It's just as terrifying as a tailed beast. Hinata Hiyashi couldn't help but exclaimed. The so-called wisdom is too weak in the face of absolute strength. Nara Shikaku clenched his fists with a look of reluctance and helplessness. Compared to this guy, Orochimaru is nothing. Midarashi Anko couldn't help but sigh in a confused manner. As a former disciple of Orochimaru, Midarashi Anko certainly knew how terrible Orochimaru's strength was. Especially not long ago, Orochimaru also planned the invasion of Konoha. He even killed the old man, the strongest Hokage in history, the third Hokage. Such a Orochimaru is extremely oppressive. However, looking at the more than 130 meter tall, Suzano complete form, in front of her. Red Bean asked, who is Orochimaru? At this time, in Konoha village, on the roof of a building far away from the battlefield. That is, Shimura Danzo, with a large group of root ninjas, was watching the battlefield from a distance. He saw the terrifyingly huge, Suzano complete form. In an instant, even I, Shimura Danzo, couldn't believe it. The group of root ninjas were all stunned at this moment. Two faces and four arms. It's really a legend. Until now, Danzo had to believe that the legendary ninja Shura, Uchiha Madara, had really come back to life. As one of the disciples of the second generation Hokage, Senju Tobarama, Shimura Danzo certainly knew something about the legendary Uchiha Madara. At least, he had seen the picture of the legendary Uchiha Madara's, Suzano. Finally, on the battlefield, Motor, Might Guy, who had already opened all eight doors, stared at Chen Yibin in front of him with a red body. Then, she, Shang, Might Guy rushed out. His target was Chen Yibin in, Suzano complete form. Everyone, retreat, temporarily withdraw from the battlefield. At this time, Tsunade reacted and thought of Might Guy's request to keep everyone away from the battlefield. She immediately turned around and shouted to all the Konoha ninjas around her. K. Kakashi looked at his friend's blood red back as he bravely marched forward. In the end, Kakashi chose to trust his longtime rival and best friend, Might Guy. Soon, Countless Konoha ninjas began to retreat quickly and temporarily leave the battlefield. In response, come on, please me. Chen Yibin's left eye's eternal Mangekio Sharingan burst out with powerful scarlet pupil power, and he laughed fiercely. Then, with a thought, the huge, Suzano complete form, faced the eight gates Kai head on. At the same time, in Suzano, Chen Yibin quickly formed three seals with his hands. A certain technique was activated. Almost at the same time, Suzano's huge fist clashed with the Eight Gates Kai. But, Shi Shang. Bang bang. The huge fist of Suzano's complete form was broken. During this time, Elephant of the Evening erupted with a violent gale, instantly tearing apart the land of more than a hundred meters under Suzano's feet. Haha, ha, it's worthy of the power under the blood red steam. Chen Yibin still had a smile on his face, and he was not panicked. The next second, he directly infused his pupil power and chakra to restore Suzano's complete fist. But, boom 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 boom. The Eight Gates Kai did not stop at all, but did not dare to give Chen Yibin any time to react, and continued to bombard Suzano's complete form with countless terrible kicks. In the end, even the complete Suzano had many cracks, and some parts were even severely damaged. You guy. Ha ha. Chen Yibin's face was inexplicably excited. Baman Kai's, Shi Shang, was already so powerful. What if it was Yi Kai? It was really shocking and inexplicably exciting. During. Teacher thick eyebrows, Suge. 
Uzumaki Naruto couldn't help but exclaim when he saw that Eight Gates Kai could actually suppress the Suzano perfect form that was as big as a tailed beast. I can't see his movements at all. Uchiha Sasuke opened his scarlet Sharingan, but he was completely unable to catch the figure of Might Guy in his current state. Kai, show us the power of youth that you mentioned. Kakashi's eyes were full of recognition and trust for his best friend. Kai, break that shell. Tsunade clenched her fist and shouted loudly. At this moment, crack, Might Guy felt as if his bones were being torn apart by a powerful force, as if there were cracks in his bones. The eight gates were fully opened, and the burden was indeed extremely heavy. As a result, Might Guy, who was in pain, couldn't help but slow down his movements a little. In response, Chen Yibin immediately seized the opportunity. You should be able to continue dancing, right? Don't let me down. Jung. The pupil power and chakra surged wildly, and all the broken parts of Suzano's complete body were instantly restored. At the same time, clang boom. The fully formed Suzano sword was suddenly drawn out. A slash. Like an aurora, it flashed between the sky and the earth, in Konoha. It slashed towards the eight gates Kai. Elephant of the evening. The eight gates Kai did not dodge, but kicked out the elephant of the evening again in order to protect Konoha as much as possible. Suddenly. Boom. The two strongest forces collided. It was like a nuclear explosion. A mushroom cloud appeared. During this time, Suzano's complete form was shaken by the powerful shock wave and couldn't help but retreat repeatedly. Ha ha ha. Happy. You've got me feeling the same way I felt fighting Hasalama. Come and continue to please me. Stabilizing Suzano's complete form, Chen Yibin's face was full of crazy fighting spirit. Well. On the other side, Baman Kai's face was filled with pain. He was almost at his limit. Even Shi Shang can't do it. So, as expected of you, it's red steam. Ha ha, you should be able to continue dancing, right? Come on, keep pleasing me. After stabilizing the Suzano's complete form, Chen Yibin's face was filled with a crazy fighting spirit. At the same time, the part of the Suzano's complete form that had just been kicked by Shi Shang was quickly restored to its original shape by Chen Yibin's thoughts, chakra and pupil power. He can't be killed even with this. At this moment, Tsunade was terrified. Might Guy had already opened all eight gates. He still couldn't do anything to that Uchiha Madara. The legendary ninja, the former Shura of the ninja world, Uchiha Madara, was actually so powerful and terrifying. What means and strength did the great grandfather use to suppress such a terrifying opponent? Tsunade felt powerless. Facing the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara, even Tsunade, who was once known as the three ninjas of Konoha and has now become the fifth generation Hokage, felt a deep sense of powerlessness. Uchiha Madara, really, dot too strong. Such a battle is simply. On the side, Uchiha Sasuke. Uzumaki Naruto, and Haruno Sakura were all surprised and shocked. The battle between Chen Yibin and Eight Gates Kai was really shocking. Whether it was Chen Yibin's complete form of Suzano or Eight Gates Kai's evening elephant. The visual impact is top-notch among the top ones. Before this, Uchiha Sasuke, Uzumaki Naruto, and Haruno Sakura, the three Konoha Genin, couldn't even imagine that there was someone in this world who could possess such a strong ninja. Is it a power beyond that of a Hokage? Too amazing. However, this enemy is very likely the legendary Uchiha Madara. At this moment, he still looks unharmed and stands opposite the 100 meter tall Suzano in full form. Giving everyone at the scene a sense of despair. The legendary ninja Uchiha Madara. The head of the Hyuga clan, Hyuga Hiyashi, looked at Chen Yibin who had instantly recovered his Suzano form with amazement. It is said that if all eight gates of the eight gates of the ninjutsu are open, one can instantly possess power that surpasses the Hokage. But the opponent was still so safe and sound when facing Might Guy with all eight gates opened. Strong. Too strong. Such an enemy is simply not something they can contend with. Even the Hyuga clan, who have the Byakugan, seem too insignificant at this moment. Sorry, Wind. I can't even avenge you. At this time, Mao Yu Shi Yan couldn't help but kneel down and cry. Chen Yibin was too strong. Mao Yu Shi Yan knew that even if she tried her best to death, she would never have the strength to fight him. Look at the posture of Suzano's complete form. It was simply, God. That was not a power that a mortal could possess. 
Azuki Yugao knew that she could not avenge the revenge of Moonlight Gale. Yuhi. Kuranai, Nara Shikamaru, Yamanaka Ino, and Akamichi Choji, who were watching Asuma's body not far away, had the same feeling. Chen Yibin killed Yuan Fei Asuma first, and then killed Akamichi Choza, completely becoming a mortal enemy of the entire Konoha. If the evening elephant is useless, then I can only use the last trick. Might Guy, who had all eight gates open, rested for more than ten seconds, then clenched his fists again and stood in front of Chen Yibin. Ha ha ha. In the complete form of Suzano, Chen Yibin laughed wildly. Good. Very good. At this moment, Chen Yibin seemed to be meeting an opponent for the first time in his life. He showed a crazy fighting spirit. K. Far behind, Kakashi looked at his best friend Might Guy with a worried look on his back, his body covered in blood red steam. Kakashi knew that his best friend Might Guy was about to fight to the death. Akai's death was already destined. Accumulate. The next second, Might Guy's body was slightly bent. A large amount of blood red blood immediately emerged behind Bam and Kai. It even quickly condensed into a huge blood red dragon head. Teacher Akai. Xiao Li looked at his mentor in shock. Eight gates of Dunjia. Yi Kai. The last roar of Ba Men Kai's life. Behind him, Yi Kai's blood red dragon immediately opened its bloody mouth and roared to the sky. Boom. The extremely strong aura impacted all directions around. Is there a move more powerful than Shi Shang? Tsunade couldn't believe it. This power. Akai, this time, I lost. Kakashi couldn't help but sigh sadly. He knew in his heart that after this time, his best friend would definitely fall. But seeing such a terrifying power, Akai fell. The legendary ninja Uchiha Madara definitely couldn't be alive. Because this, Yekai felt a hundred times stronger than the Shishiang just now. And the Shishiang just now almost completely broke the opponent's Suzano complete form. This time, he can definitely defeat the enemy. That guy Akai actually possesses such terrifying strength. At this time, Midarashi Anko's face was full of amazement and admiration. Akai, please, kill that devil. Azuki Yugao shouted. Akai, today everyone in Konoha has seen your strongest power. The enemy in front of us. Please. Tsunade Ji also stepped forward and shouted loudly. Drink. Baman Kai gathered all his blood and energy. Boom. The blood red dragon head, which was already extremely huge, actually grew to a higher level again. Roar. The blood dragon roared even more powerfully. At this time. This force. Ha ha ha, I fully recognize your strength. Among all the opponents I have fought in my memory, I would like to call you the strongest in physical skills. In the complete form of Suzano, Chen Yibin felt a breath of death at this moment. But Chen Yibin was not afraid, but crazy excited. Because he knew, he could not die. Yekai. The next second, the eight gates Kai and the blood-colored dragon head merged into one. Then, carrying the huge blood-colored dragon head, it rushed towards Chen Yibin in the Suzano complete form in front of it with surging and murderous aura. Chen Yibin would not sit and wait for death. He just wanted to swing the huge Suzano sword, but he found that the entire Suzano sword was stuck and difficult to drive. The space is distorted just like in the original drama. Chen Yibin took a look at the situation around him and saw that the space around the complete form of Suzano was indeed distorted. No wonder Suzano had difficulty in making any moves. Roar. At this moment, Yikai appeared in front of Suzano's complete form. Boom. The next moment, Yikai kicked Suzano's body, and with a loud bang. Suzano's body shattered. At the same time. Bang. The moment. Suzano's body completely collapsed. Chen Yibin, who was originally in the middle of the tall Suzano, was immediately kicked and could no longer avoid it. Wow. Immediately, Chen Yibin vomited a large mouthful of blood. During this time, Chen Yibin's entire body seemed to be broken. And this happened almost in just a moment. However, the power of Yekai has not ended yet. He kicked Chen Yibin directly and rushed all the way. In the end, a huge shock like a bolt from the blue broke out, and at the end. Everyone at the scene was shocked to see that all the rock statues of the previous Hokage had disappeared. Chen Yibin had only destroyed Hashirama Senju and slightly damaged some of the rock statues of several other Hokage, but he had not completely destroyed them. But at this moment, they completely disappeared. 
And, at the original location, a super gap appeared with a width of about 80 meters, a depth of over 100 meters, and a length of over 1,000 meters. It was indeed, the super gap kicked out by Yi Kai. This, this, countless people were stunned at the scene. The entire Konoha, whether ninja or civilians, looked at the huge ravine in amazement. Eight gates of Dunjia, eight gates fully open, can it be so powerful? In the dark, Shimura Danzo and a group of root ninjas were also extremely surprised at this time. It was literally split in two. Akai. Kakashi was also very shocked. But after reacting, Kakashi immediately jumped up and prepared to save Might Guy. Might Guy is beyond saving. Kakashi also wants to find his best friend immediately. Everyone. Tsunade Ji also reacted immediately, and then waved her jade hand and ordered. If Uchiha Madara is not dead yet, kill him. Besides, find and do your best to save our Konoha's hero, Might Guy. Yes. Lord Hokage. Immediately, a Konoha ninja responded excitedly. The next moment, countless ninjas rushed towards the back mountain of Konoha. Among them were, Uchiha Sasuke, Uzumaki Naruto, Haruno Sakura, Yamanaka Ino, Nara Shikaku, Nara Shikamaru and countless other Konoha ninjas. Even some bold civilians couldn't help but go over and want to see the last battlefield situation at the first glance. At this moment, countless people admired and even began to worship Might Guy, who had just opened all eight gates and was invincible. Everyone wanted to welcome back their Konoha hero at this moment. However, soon after a group of ninjas quickly jumped, came, and even entered the huge ravine in the back mountain that was divided into two. Everyone saw from a distance an unbelievable scene at the end of the huge ravine. I almost did. Killed by you. Hee <laughs> hee. Wearing red armor, with waist-length hair fluttering in the wind, Chen Yibin was holding a sickle weapon and laughing evilly. Everyone saw that the sickle blade in his hand had completely pierced through Might Guy's heart. During this time, Might Guy's body was charred like charcoal. After the eight gates of the eight gates of ninjutsu were fully opened, almost all of his vitality was drained. After being pierced through the heart by Chen Yibin, Might Guy completely extinguished his last breath of life. K. Kakashi, who arrived here first, was unwilling to believe what was happening before his eyes. How could this happen? Princess Tsunade, in surprise and disbelief, could not help but take a step back. She staggered a little. She couldn't help but feel a little desperate in her heart. Why? Why couldn't Yekai's terrifying moves kill Uchiha Madara in front? How strong is this man? Might Guy just opened all eight gates. That's a power that can be said to surpass the Hokage dozens of times in an instant. Even this couldn't kill the legendary ninja Uchiha Madara. Even at this moment, the opponent is still wearing red armor and long hair. He was still completely unharmed. How is this possible? He, he is not a human being. It's a demon. Azuki Yugao, the sword in her hand seemed to have no strength to hold it, and finally fell to the ground below her feet. It was just like the mood of countless people at this moment, after the hope just now was shattered, the despair of falling. How could the powerful thick eyebrow teacher just now? Uzumaki Naruto, a little self-doubting at the moment. Is this the real power of my Uchiha? Uchiha Sasuke looked at Chen Yibin with a look of longing, the sickle still piercing Might Guy's heart. Now is the period when Nizuzi is most eager to get power. Looking at Chen Yibin like this, Nizuzi longed to become as powerful as him. Such power can definitely kill that man. At this moment, looking at the already dead Might Guy in front of him, Chen Yibin slowly pulled the sickle out of the opponent's heart at the right time. With his heart broken, only a few thin streams of blood flowed out of Might Guy's body. It was indeed because the, Night Guy, just now had drained too much of Might Guy's vitality and blood. Congratulations, you have killed, Ba Men Kai, and achieved a super achievement. Congratulations for receiving, super achievement lottery one time. Temporary division of achievement and lottery levels, elementary, intermediate, advanced, super. In response. Chen Yibin glanced at the system prompt in the void that only he could see. Super lucky draw. It's really a big surprise. He smiled faintly. Then, you are a worthy opponent. I have to admit, your power just now is enough to kill me. But, Chen Yibin, with one eternal Mangekyo Sharingan and one triple Magatama Sharingan open, looked at the fallen might guy and murmured softly. 
The originally scarlet pupil of the three Magatama Sharingan in Chen Yibin's right eye suddenly turned gray. It lost its light. Do you think I would come to Konoha without any plan? Chen Yibin finally said this to himself. He dug out the three Magatama Sharingan that had lost its sight from his right eye and threw it away. Teacher Akai. At this moment, Xiao Li also impulsively activated the eight gates of Dunjia. Then, he rushed straight towards Chen Yibin, who was wearing red armor. Oh. Chen Yibin, who had just taken out the original right eye, eternal kaleidoscope, from the system's internal space, hadn't installed it on himself when he saw Xiao Li rushing towards him aggressively. Ha. Chen Yibin laughed disdainfully. Thanks for watching.